Hey, what's up, and welcome to Movie Dumpster Season 5, Episode 4. Today we're talking about Batman Forever, from 1995, directed by Joel Schumacher. I'm Joel Scola. I'm Sean the Diddler O'Rourke. And I'm absolutely horrified. Welcome to the dumpster. <laughs> what the diddlers here yeah yeah in the flesh, in the flesh. uh broke out my old costume wow they let you out of arkham huh uh, not only did they let me out but my mother's costume well my costume my mother made for me when i was like i don't know the pictures on screen right now like 12 <laughs> uh middle school I, you know it's still fit guys wow, uh, the colors fade a little somehow the uh the question marks are are thicker uh you know i've got a cane I've got a cane. You sure do, Pierre Noel. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is, you know, not, not that I want to insert myself into the movie Dumpster Universe. Well, you're inserting you your, ins yeah. your name is the Diddler. Uh, yeah, the Diddler is definitely uh, a character I feel like would be in the MDU. I don't know if he's running with like the corpse fuckers or the GBDs of the uh, uh, of the said universe. But uh, he's putting things into, into people. Oh, he's he's shoving this thing up <laughs> in, inside you, baby. That cherub, I'm gonna keep bringing it up. That's that's the joke so far this year. Go back, my demon lover. If you want to hear about my altercation, little uh, little suckaroo with a cherub. I don't uh, know if it's an altercation so much as a, the pleasure uh, giver. Well, the diddler the loves di it all. <laughs> oh my God. Getting the old lube down the throat. I'm, gonna I'm put, so I'm gonna put happy this to down be here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Welcome oh, back. By the way, welcome back. It's my wife. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Dumpster dwellers getting diddled lately. When <laughs> 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 they're watching this episode, here it comes under the fucking table. He's going to get you. Oh, yeah, I was the, not prepared for the diddler, truly. Well, once those diddler feet start moving, you don't want to look under the uh, table. You don't know what he's doing down there or I'm doing. I don't Keep know. Keep that can over there, Sean. Okay. Please. Okay. Please. okay. <laughs> so, yeah, we're talking about. Batman Forever. Um, on the on the day of the release of the Batman the TM Batman. Uh, with Robert Pattinson, uh, let's talk a little bit about that. Wait, okay, I, I'm pretty excited for this movie. I am also. I have some minor trepidations, uh, which which kind of stem from an interview I read online where the director talked about how hey, none of the other Batman movies really had any detective stuff in it, so this one has detective stuff, and I'm like. Have you seen Batman 89? Have you seen <laughs> Batman Returns Forever? Batman Robin, uh, The Dark Knight, Batman Begins, uh, Dark Knight Rises. Honestly, even the fucking 66 Batman, but okay, <laughs> Matt Reeves, I'll see your movie. <laughs> I heard that Batman was, what did Robert Pattinson say? He's like, I didn't know he was the greatest detective of all time. <laughs> yeah, which, okay. Don't live under a fucking rock, dude. I get it. I mean, it's Batman, we're nerds, we're, we're, we're keyed in. Again, I'm dressed like the fucking, the diddler. The diddler. Uh, Not to be confused with the Riddler. Too. No, no, he's got. I want to get sued. He doesn't have mismatched colors. He doesn't look <laughs> like he's working a construction site that, that you shouldn't enter. That, you know, John Lithgow from uh, Dexter's walking around burying his next victim. Uh, Spoiler alert. Uh, yes. You know, while I'm finally only catching up, guys. It's only about <laughs> ten years late, so you're gonna get that along with the X Files references at the oh, moment. God. What do you think? Do you, are you excited for it? I'm excited. I haven't really looked up much. You know me. I don't like spoilers. No. Unlike yourself. Well, you, <laughs> love, you love spoilers. I'm, I'm on I'm that. In, I'm in for it. I'm in for anything and everything. I'm in for. I, I fucking read the Reddit or the 4chan or whatever the fuck I need to to get to get all the info. <laughs> the Diddler's definitely reading 4chan. <laughs> oh, the Diddler's posting some fucking uh, NSFW. Shit. Yeah, yeah. The DeviantArt goes deep. Um, oh much like God. that cane I just put away, uh, <laughs> it goes deep somewhere. I don't know. You, the visual's yours to to do what you want with. So, uh, so I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, you know the production of this film, and it you know just like everything else, it, it has a troubled history, and the trouble begins with Warner Brothers. <laughs> Yeah, so <laughs> Tim Burton really got hung out to dry oh, on they, this they one. They fucked him over big time, dude. Like, I, from what I understand, like he goes into an interview after Batman Returns because Batman Returns, if you don't know, uh, ha did really well, but also caused a big uproar because of the fucking McDonald's toys and all that bullshit, and like you know the 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 the, uh, the helicopter parenting bullshit. They're like, this is a violent movie, and you're making fucking McDonald's toys, which probably wasn't the smartest thing. 
ever. <laughs> but it is Batman. We had RoboCop toys for crying uh, out loud. Yeah, I don't I know. Say, they're not going to make Cartoon. toys like, give me a break. We yeah. grew up with toys from rated R movies. That's what I'm saying, yeah, like, yeah. Like RoboCop, Aliens, Predator. I mean, there was a goddamn Toxic Avenger Tox- TV show. I, the to- Toxie's here somewhere. He's My, right there. Okay, yeah, there you go. And, uh... You know, I actually watched Returns after watching Forever. I know I kind of did it in reverse, but I was like, I was just trying to put myself in the mindset of people. Maybe some of you were watching at home uh, or listening to this, Uh, but just like going from from Returns, which, yeah, there's some dark comedy without a doubt in that movie, but it's mostly serious. And then it's essentially the polar opposite in this movie. There's more comedy. It's way less. I mean, there's serious moments, which we got a whole episode to get into that. Yeah. But I, I, I was trying to just put myself in that mindset of like, man, if you were expecting something after Batman returns and you got Batman forever, I could understand being burned. However, listen to less, watch the rest of the episode. (laughs) Well, to your point, (laughs) to your point, Warner Brothers is like, yeah, Yeah. I don't know. What's up, Mr. Burton? And he's like, hey, I just want, can I make Batman uh, three? And they're like, eh. You're why also- don't you make why don't you make a smaller movie? You know yeah. what I mean? Don't worry about the Batmans because they wanted to fucking make the toys and yeah. make all this bullshit. And I know that's been like said to death, but it is actually true for this movie. Um, to dial back the seriousness and the violence and stuff like that. Even though I mean, the first one, Joker gasses an entire town, yeah. like oh, turns yeah. a bunch of models into but, like zombies. Yeah, but there was toys from that too. That's you what I'm saying. Like and I, I had all of those as well. You know, it's even like, before Batman, even before uh, Batman Returns came out, it's definitely like not. I mean, maybe my timeline's wrong on this. It's definitely not like Satanic Panic, but it's definitely no. in that realm of it's, of helicopter parenting, it, like you're talking about. It's that thing where it's like we got, we have. Yeah, I think Mortal Kombat comes out Mortal Kombat 2 is coming out the, G- that- the Jack Thompsons of the world start coming out of it's the woodwork everybody starts fucking getting all uppity about violence in media affecting children so Tim Burton's in there and uh they end up they end up pushing him out but then he decides to not even fucking do it then Michael Keaton they yeah. want they want him to come back as Batman no fucking way want to know why because the script is shit for him and the way that Joel Schumacher's taking this uh, the story is in a direction that he does not want to go, like at all. Yeah, I mean, you're going from like Frank Miller's Batman again back to '66 Batman, well, basically. I was gonna say it's campy, it's fun, Set- it's colorful, it's comic book, it's Silver right. Age. It's not returns. It's <laughs> right. Whatsoever. No, and and that Gotham is not even close to what the Gotham we get in this. It's it, yeah. we're, we're getting neon lights and fucking uh, black light paint and all kinds of which I don't hate. But it's not it. the same it. thing. Hey, it is just that, dra- again, that drastic difference between movies. I mean, it's happened many times on this show. Don't get me wrong over the years, but it's just, you just nailed it. It's just the architecture. Like, it, it returns in the original, if you want to call it that, or, or rather 89, 89, I guess I should yeah. say. Have that, that like, it's the 30s, but it's like, not the 30s. It's like the aesthetic, kind of like a it, fallout where they lean on the 50s aesthetic a lot. Similar sure. concept. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, it's kind of timeless almost. Yeah, but they have like those ca- old style cars and sure. stuff like yeah. that. Whereas Forever just kind of like, they have a little bit of that, uh, like Two Faces car that we'll get to. Yeah. But for the most part, they abandon a lot of that. They lean, like the 66 stuff, like leans into the serials and like the old comics where it's like campy and goofy yeah. and whatever. But then. When I mean, I'm no shit, but like when fucking <laughs> Burton redoes it in 89 or like takes a different take yeah. on it, it is this dark brooding character again, which I believe the comics at the time w- was reflecting the comics at the time. Oh, yeah. I um, mean, no expert on it myself no, either. But, but like Death in the Family's out and shit like that, right? A lot of that stuff's happening. The first, the original Death in the Family, and not I, Death of the Family. And I mean, Tim Burton has kind of gone on record many times over the years that he didn't read a Batman comic when he made that movie. He made the movie he wanted to make. I, I don't really know if that's the case with Returns, if he then went back and read some material or not. I don't know if you have that information or not. I don't not. think he was even going to do the sequel, mm. but... Money? <laughs> I, yeah, well, they we got let, Danny DeVito. Yeah. We got we got Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> like, how do you say no? Well, they let him do his Burton Yeah, thing, yeah. you know? Um, we got Walken. We got Christopher Walken in there. It's a stacked cast. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which... <laughs> Since this is a stack fucking cast. Since, since we're on the fucking topic of returns, sure. there, there's a few things I want to talk about. Like, I guess where the trouble began, or like the weird his- history of like what's happening between returns and this film. Sure. And like, originally, um, Marlon Wayans is supposed to be Robin in Returns, right? But they scrapped his character. 
Yeah. from Because there was like too many characters or some shit. Yeah. Like that. I remember reading that now that you mention it. Yeah. yeah. So that's just the first thing in this lineage of of, of actors that we're going to get into. But um, speaking of Batman Returns, uh, my wife and I did, or Julie and I rather, did- My uh, wife. That's my me. wife. It's my husband. <laughs> um, she was Catwoman. Oh, yes. yeah. Yes. And I was Christopher Walken's character, Max Shrek. And the coolest part about that was her costume. Obviously, it looked amazing, but I also made like screen accurate uh, metal like claws for the oh, gloves. The claws were amazing. amazing. Um, but then myself as Max Shrek was not as interesting or great. Um, <laughs> no, we It was walked... a backup costume. <laughs> it was, yeah. It was a backup costume. We would have won if minute. I was Batman. We walked in the Tom's River. Halloween parade. This was almost 10 years ago. Jesus. And while we were lined up, a little girl came up and asked Joe if he was Benjamin Franklin. Are you Benjamin Franklin? <laughs> I said no. We got some like mad scientist wig and put a lot of Elmer's glue <laughs> in it and just gave you this quaff. Yeah. I thought you looked great. So you were like Max Shrek, but it was like spelt like Shrek, like the Michael Myers yeah. Shrek. <laughs> oh, Max Shrek, how are you doing? <laughs> Go in for the kiss, laddie. <laughs> I'm going to push Michelle Pfeiffer out a fucking window. All, all nine oh lives, God. Joe. Oh, yeah. Shh. Uh, so how do we get from this Tim, Tim Burton vision that just falls fucking to pieces, but all, all due to our favorite uh, people in the world, the cigar chomping executives, and we, we end up with Schumacher in charge here. they Because he was playing ball with Warner Brothers and Tim Burton was out, Michael Keaton was out and uh, we get Joel Schumacher coming in uh, to do... What's weird about this is like it's kind of a dark script and you see the elements of it being dark and obviously that Schumacher cut is darker but I don't think that was even his intent anyway to be as dark. Like no. I feel like that was the no thing. Way. I think that was a thing for him to be like, let's make this lighter. Because that's why Keaton walked too. Because he was like, this is fucking goofy. This yeah. isn't this yeah. isn't this isn't it's also it's not a story about Batman so much as it's a story about the Riddler and Two Face. Which is weird. Yeah. Uh, it's very it's very focused on the on the villains. Oh big time. Yeah. And, and Chase Meridian, this I, I don't even know if it's a comic <laughs> character to be honest. And like was that supposed to be fucking Catwoman? I don't know all the fucking details here, people, so don't fucking crucify me. Yeah, but even to your point about Chase Meridian, that wasn't even supposed to be Nicole Kidman. It was supposed to be Renee Russo. But they recast her because they thought Renee Russo looked too old to <laughs> to, to be his girlfriend Damn, or something. Okay. Like Sex we is can't Hollywood. Only Nicole Kidman. Uh, yeah, that, that's yeah. Oh, Batman. Let me suck your dick. She oh, wants rubber. Oh, God, she's ready to strip those clothes off at a oh, moment's man. nose. Oh, Rip those God. rubber nipples oh, right they off. They are ready. Well, so Michelle Feiger, I think, was supposed to do a Catwoman spinoff movie. Or be in this one. I'm not exactly sure what the deal is. Right, like maybe the original version of whatever that script was. I guess so. Concept. What would her role have been in this movie, though? Like, I can't, I just can't picture it after Returns, right? Like, uh, it makes me think about if Heath Ledger didn't pass away. Like, would he have been that, the Scarecrow role in Dark Knight Rises, or would it have been a totally different movie? It's like that thing, like Ghostbusters. You mean Joker? Uh, joke. Well, yeah. Heath Ledger, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I think he would have played the role that Scarecrow ended up playing if it didn't change more beyond that. The, oh, I like, see. The judge mean. and ex- yeah. executioner, yeah. or maybe it would have been a totally different thing. And I always go back to Ghostbusters is when I always think of with the same thing. Like, what if we got that weird Dan Aykroyd script where they're in space and we had Eddie Murphy in yeah. the movie and Belushi? Yeah. Like, you just don't know. It's like it's interesting to think about. No, absolutely. Or, or, or if we got that third movie, maybe we got to got Burton's Riddler. We would have finally got in. Uh, uh, B- Billy D. Uh, Two Face. Well, that that's the thing too. So, like, so uh, with the Riddler, like that was supposed to be Robin Williams. I'm sure oh, most of you know which. all this shit, but like, not necessarily that it was supposed to be Robin Williams, but he was in the running for it. And then, like, they reached out to Robin Williams again because they used him as like a bargaining chip to get Jack Nicholson to be Joker. In the original Batman, so they fucked over Robin Williams to get oh, Jack Nicholson. Geez. I didn't yeah. even know that. And then that. they were, yeah. And then they were like, "Hey, Robin, you want to be the Riddler?" And he's like, "I don't know." And then, and then Ace Ventura, Dumb and Dumber's out. Jim Carrey's there. He's hot. He's a funny guy. Yeah. And they were just like, "Fuck it, let's just grab him." You know? uh, yeah, he was like, he had like a year with all three of those came out, or within a year or two of each other. It was like, holy yeah, shit! Man. Yeah, he was fire. like the big guy at the time for and, sure. Yeah, we're, we're gonna talk about him and uh, uh, Tommy Lee. Tommy Lee, but like to your point too, like Billy D. Williams was excited to play 
Two Face. It, I, if Burton made this, I, I'm pretty sure they that they would have all come back. And like to your point, Catwoman would have, I think, would have been like a oh, yeah. a tertiary kind of thing, or like she would have been a, there in some capacity, but not a main player. You know yeah, almost I mean? maybe she would have been that Robin type role. Maybe, maybe or maybe you got that Marlon Wayne's character. I don't know. Well, Leonardo DiCaprio was supposed to be Robin. He was approached to play Robin, and then they settled on Chris O'Donnell. <sighs> I mean. I would have believed Leo being the 17-year-old that Robin is supposed to be in this movie <laughs> not versus the, Chris O'Donnell. And not the 30-something Chris uh, O'Donnell. Yeah. I, I will say, though, and I, 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 I'm I, assuming the, the opinion on this at the table might be similar. I think he's fine in this. Like, I don't know why people hate this 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 role so much, this Chris I don't, O'Donnell I don't portrayal. I agree. I don't. I you don't, don't think he's very good. <laughs> I guess we'll get into it. All right. I don't. You don't love that earring, that single <laughs> earring with the tight T-shirt. Doesn't do it for I, you. I don't. It, think I it, think it. Go it ahead, was go the ahead. acrobatic laundry that did it for me. Really. We'll okay. Get there. We'll okay. Get to that Literally but, makes you, know. you wet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow. Well, <laughs> makes the diddler real sweaty. <laughs> oh man, the diddler makes you wet. Rings you out. Oh, oh no. Uh, I think he's fine. He is fine. I have no complaints for Chris O'Donnell. <laughs> so, so before, I, I think that's pretty much all we want to. I don't want to go like too heavy uh, yeah. into this shit, but yeah, yeah. like uh, that's just like the basic behind the scenes stuff. And then like, of course, Jim Carrey, the whole Jim Carrey and uh, uh, Tommy Lee Jones thing, and like yeah. Tommy Lee Jones like hating Jim Carrey and thought he was a fucking joke or whatever. And it's like that's just Tommy Lee Jones being upstaged indirectly by somebody else and him not being able to deal with it. I, I, I agree 100%. Yeah, I, yeah. That's yeah. what it is. That's, it's so obvious yeah. from scene to scene that Tommy Lee Jones, like everybody said it was Tommy Lee Jones coming off of Ty Cobb and he wanted to play the role super serious, took this very seriously, but like he's having a blast with this too. Yeah. But clearly Jim Carrey is just is like- going for the gusto. You can't compete. No. You just can't compete. No. And it's because of that. It's because of the way that Schumacher directs this film is why- carries off his fucking leash and and Tommy Lee is like trying so desperately to stay like up here the whole time you know what I mean but his serious scenes are really fucking good yeah. too oh yeah it just felt like it's the same kind of thing with Jeff Goldblum if you cast him you're like hey Jeff just be Jeff just be Jeff like yeah. hey Jim Go for it, and they—that's and that's what they got. Yeah, especially in that pocket, like you said, those movies came out like you know, rapid fire, and yeah. that's what everyone yeah. wanted at the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. that you know, it might not be you, the Riddler that I wanted. I mean, <laughs> ten-year-old Sean didn't give a shit. He was into it. He was like, "Oh, was going this to... the Riddler?" That <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Sean wanted. <laughs> yeah, this is the one I always dreamed of. Up uh, the neon. Yeah, sticking the cane up yeah. like random strangers' asses, <laughs> taking their wallets. The diddler. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get that. I have a prop. I'm not even using it. Oh, yeah, please. Yeah, get it <laughs> oh, in no. there. No, you got to flip it. You got to get the question <laughs> oh, mark symbol Lord. up there. Trying to adopt. Oh, we're questioning oh, it already. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> if you get this shoved up your ass, you're going right to the hospital. My friend, uh, you know them. <laughs> Uh, my friend Kelly shoved uh, one of those up their ass. No, no, oh. she used to. Uh, if you're watching, Kelly, hello. Sorry, Kelly. Hope Sorry, you're doing Kelly. okay. She used to work a, a in a hospital, and she has stories about things people have shoved up their ass. And oh, uh, oh Jesus, yeah, I, I'm sure someone has shoved this this Pier Noel or whatever you call it, <laughs> this Riddler cane up somebody's ass. I'm sure there's a, a story somewhere. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So before we get into the brass tacks of the film, I want to talk about Bill Kilmer a little bit. Mm -hmm. One of the best Batmans, in my opinion. Um, Agreed. Only second to Keaton. I don't. I I really don't care for Christian Bale. I like the Batman movie. I like the Christopher Nolan Batman movies. I just he's my American Psycho, and yeah. it's it was so fucking weird seeing him as Batman. Not that they're bad movies. I'm not saying that, but like just. I, it doesn't work for me. I, I know The Dark Knight Rises is one of your favorite movies. I know you're a huge, huge no. fan. Because of Tony. Obviously, our friend Tony from Hack the Movies. He's Isn't in the, the movie. The very famous Tony? Yeah, yeah. So obviously, yeah. it's your favorite. I hate that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I would still say The Dark Knight, just to move on from that happy yeah. moment. Uh, uh, Dark Knight is probably one of my favorite movies, period. It's great. Uh, just It's a great detective film, and it just sure. happens to have fucking Batman. Is, yeah. the, is the stars, the yeah. guy solving the crime, and then Heath Ledger just... I don't want to get off on too much of a side tangent on this because there's a lot of movie to cover, but it's like him and, and and Nicholson, I both think, nailed that character for different reasons. And I hate, and I know this is like a, a conversation that happened like 10 or 15 years ago, and I'm bringing it into 2022. <laughs> well, but it's the first like, time we're talking about yes. Batman, so yeah. I, suck it. 
I, maybe, maybe this will turn into a, a longer aside, or maybe you guys will just agree with me, but I just hate this thing where people want to compare. I mean, you're doing it a little bit with the Batmans, and I understand, like, you want to compare the portrayals. Well, the, but And I'm not criticizing now. that, because I'm with you, because I'm a Bale guy, but I, Keaton's great, Kilmer's great, George Clooney can go sit mm. on an egg. Uh... Just people want to say, oh, this one's better, this one's better. And it's like, okay, well, that is subjective. But at the end of the day, like, they're doing very different things. Absolutely. Uh, like, Keaton, I think, is, honestly, he he is, like, Bale in my mind, at least. Uh, I think he plays both roles very well. And I think Kilmer is also in that boat. However, I think Keaton, I guess I would argue, is probably the best of both worlds. I just, I like Bale's Bruce a lot. And his Batman's fine. I think that gravelly shit has been beaten to death online. I'm not trying to harp on that one. Well, that, that, that was that was a Nolan decision. That wasn't Bale's decision. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's where I'll disagree with you because I think Keaton's Batman's really good, but mm. his Bruce Wayne is okay. not great. Okay. But Val Kilmer has a really good balance of yeah. Bruce yeah. Wayne. He's a fucking great Bruce Wayne, and he's a good Batman. I would have loved to see Bruce Wayne. <laughs> I would have loved to have him over Clooney again. That's I, my name. Uh, yeah. Clooney's a great actor, but he just did not get that character just based on everything I've read about he is it. He's neither Bruce Wayne nor Batman. He's like, George. You, you have no business being Batman. He's George ever. Clooney cl- cosplaying as Batman yeah. in yeah. that movie. I hate fucking Batman and Robin, by the way. That movie sucks. It's not good. And it's no, okay if good. you like it, but I really don't. Um, Sure. You're Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> From the Diddler, Diddler approved. <laughs> Batman and Robin is great. The says Diddler the Diddler approves. Um, All right, everyone, chill. <laughs> come on, come see the movie. I'm oh the Mr. God. Freeze man. That's the reason to watch that. Just watch the clip. Yeah, and Uma Thurman's great as Poison Ivy. Yeah, wish yeah. they were in a different movie, but anyway. So we watched that. So Julie and I watched that that Val Kilmer documentary. Yeah. So, about all of his roles and everything he was doing at the time, and um, particularly at that time, he was known to 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 be difficult to work with. But the way that it's portrayed in the documentary is that he just liked. He loved acting, so he would always like talk to the directors and yeah. like be like, "Hey, what if we what if we did this?" Or like, "Ah, maybe they wouldn't do that. They would do this." Which is why I think, and it's the, like, "Quit fucking challenging me, Val Kilmer." Is basically the vibe. Basically, that I the, got. It's yeah, like, that's why everyone thought he was so difficult to work with because mm. he actually has a passion for acting and wanted to challenge himself and everyone around. Him. Exactly, and a lot of people don't want that. No, they don't, especially Schumacher, because it was it was already apparent. When him and where he was at odds with Keaton and Keaton was like, this is stupid. Why don't we do this? And Schumacher's like, fuck you. And it's like, that's your Batman. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, yeah, Like the only one so far but since Adam West. Yeah. And, and everyone yeah. sees him and is like, oh, shit, it's Batman. But yeah, Val. So, so Val was that's what Schumacher said, that he was hard to work with. And they were almost at like <laughs> fist and cuffs at some points. There was a lot of like fights going oh on <laughs> in the background of this film. Yeah. Verbal and physical. Nobody was on the same fucking page or somebody was jealous of somebody or somebody was crashing cars into fucking things. I'm looking at you, Chris O'Donnell. Not only that, but like, again, we just got to jump back to that, uh, uh, the documentary we watched. Like he had like a really hard time, like working in the bat suit. Yeah, it was just like physically difficult to move. Like in. It, it couldn't like so move, it was like, like it couldn't move. Having to overact so much, he said it was like the soap opera style of acting, where he'd have to turn in these very dramatic ways, and he's like, "Count how many times I have to put my hands on my hips <laughs> to like per, you know to, to get the acting through." Yeah, mm. and he also said it was super isolating because it was difficult to hear. When he was huh. in the suit, so people ended up stopping talking to him. Because they because they because he couldn't hear them, yeah. so it was just difficult to hold a conversation. And that he's like sucks. it was super fucking isolating, and that's why he only did this movie. He's like, I don't blame I'm good. Him. That's like, why he didn't come back for Batman and Robin. That's yeah. exactly why he didn't come back. And it was and I think he even Which goes, made me really sad. Yeah, it's yeah. really like, sad. Especially this, this guy who like just loves creating characters so yeah. much and like you can see that like running through. Go watch, check out that documentary. What is it called again? It's called Val. Yeah. And it is on Amazon Prime. Amazon I also Prime. have his book. Um, I'll be your Huckleberry. I'm your Huckleberry. I'm your Huckleberry. I haven't read it yet because um, I'm reading Stanley Tucci's book. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great, it's a really excellent documentary. It was, and it was all like, uh, or I don't know, all of it because I haven't seen it, but I know I was reading a lot of the footage was like stuff he just shot over the years that he was holding on to. Yeah, like, which amazing. is amazing. He just kept record behind the scenes, always had a camera mm-hmm. on, which was similar to. 
who was it that just did that 90s uh, documentary? M- um, Mind Bialik? Or, no, no, no Soleil no. Moonfry. Soleil Moonfry. Hmm. I forget the name of it, but she also basically filmed her entire childhood growing up in the 90s around all of these huh. actors. On all the all child the, actors. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. It's incredible. It's pr- pretty crazy. Um, I didn't actually see that one, but you should check it out. Really good. But yeah, so he had a shitty time playing Batman, and he I think he even said, like, every kid wants to be Batman. What, what was the quote? Every kid wants to be Batman, but they don't necessarily want to play Batman in a movie. In a movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, one last thing. Rick Baker's on effects in this, and most of the shit gets cut out. And <laughs> that's it. Especially oh. the big, giant fucking bat. No. Oh. Yeah. So, oh, oh, before we start, did you want to talk about that Six Flags show? Oh yeah, yeah. I was talking to Joe about this before we recorded. Just, just, just thinking about other things that are Batman forever related, like the like these McDonald's glasses. Oh, cheers! Oh, how convenient. Yeah, cheers, dumpster dwellers. <laughs> Some diddler juice. <laughs> oh, not mine. I got, I got bat juice. Well, you walked away with the glass sitting there. So anyway, um, so Six Flags Great Adventure. Uh, they used to have this thing called the you know Six Flags uh, Super Show. They have like, you know, lethal weapon, yep. they, you know, a stunt show, basically, if you've ever been to one or are familiar with the concept. And there was a Batman one. So they kind of like mimic the movies. Like, uh, have you been to whatever? Yeah. I don't know if it still exists. I but... remember the I remember the lethal weapon one like vividly. Yeah, that's the only one that I remember. OK, but I enjoyed it with that giant bag of popcorn. <laughs> that you could get yeah. kind of stand right there. Ten bucks. You could, like crawl into yeah. it afterwards. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the one specifically in New Jersey, uh, Jackson, New Jersey, Six Flags Great Adventure, they had this show and they had like the Joker as the original one. And then as forever came out, they switched it over to Riddler and Two-Face. It's great. The it would be like uh, stadium seating, so you'd have like Batman would have like his marks where you could see like, oh, they're gonna do like a stunt here. Yeah. They'd be like marking on the seats, and he'd come on on like the grappling hook. He'd come in. There was like an Arkham Asylum, like uh, almost kind of mixed with like the uh, Ace Chemicals from yeah. the first Batman kind of set. It was cool. They had like the Batmobile would come out from like the OG first two films. They also had like it was a, it was water stunts too. So yeah. they like they like oh, yeah, yeah. piggyback that off of like lethal weapon shit. And they were like just worked it into like a Batman routine. Yeah, they, I was gonna say I wouldn't be surprised if it was the same exact show. Just well, more or, less. <laughs> more or less. It wasn't a water thing specifically. Like there was effects that involve water, but it was like a it was like a stage, and they like, oh, drove sure. the car around, yeah. and they would have like explosions go off. So you'd always feel the heat, even though you're in the back seat. The heat hitting yeah, you in yeah. the face or the or the gust. And I distinctly remember, and I don't remember if this is how they kill the Riddler in this, or that's just <laughs> how they end the show but I, I i remember that they like would sh- blow his head up or they'd blow him up and then the head would shoot out from like behind stage and it'd be this big bulbous like balloon like beach beach ball s- size riddler head like jim carrey like likeness <laughs> and uh you know if you got to see this shit. and you'd always if you wanted to you could get autographs from the actors at the end it was that's, fun it was, it was cool, cool. I, I, cool. I don't know if it's still a thing I, I know there's a lot of six flags great adventures around the country and in other countries i think I don't let, think they're let doing. Let me know if that's a thing. Still, so I know with with the last couple of years, maybe it, it's not. It's definitely not Batman Forever. But well, I do no, want. I want to get Batman get, something. I want to get one of those yeah. shirts. Those fucking Six Flags Batman Forever live show shirts. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love because... to see the new one. You have you have the Riddler with that face mask where he's like a saw villain. <laughs> oh, my oh god. god! And it's like him like on the soundstage just cutting somebody's head off. Yeah, with the like fucking a knife. Yeah. the fucking Zodiac uh, yeah. Riddler. Yeah. yeah. We got what do we got? We got we got a vintage uh, Batman Forever. Sh- Sweatshirt. By the way, Julie, this is Julie's favorite movie. I, uh, yeah, we yeah. didn't get to that. Spoiler yet. alert. <laughs> yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Spoiler alert. alert. Spoiler yeah. alert. alert. Um, um, we got a whole bunch let's of Let's take the back tour here. here. We got Batman Forever color forms. We got a Batman Forever fucking dinner plate. <laughs> Uh, bat and with glass, Batman Forever 3D big top board game. Th- uh, Batman Forever tattoo maker. Make Batman your for- own Batman tattoo. Batman Forever binder. Uh, a Batman Forever notebook made out of a VHS. That was a custom one. That was made by Chris Severn and given as a gift uh, by Ryan Hickey. Thank you. Mm-hmm. We got some, um, get some Batman and Robin soap up there, it looks like. There's uh, body molds. Good friend, Evan Kyle, thank you. As a wedding present, got us <laughs> the Batman Forever soap set. Batman and Robin soap set. Yeah. Wait, wait, hold on a second. I see something that's like key to this, sh- to this program. Which? There's a book back there. There's a novelization. There is. Oh, oh, book to the movie, shit. Batman Forever. Right. I'm not gonna really do it, but I could. Like to pretend, pretend I can cook that off the shelf. He yeah. just gave me a fucking heart attack. It's like yeah, he's like, gonna please. hit all the shit yeah. off the shelf. <laughs> um, and there's 
there's trading cards up there too. Anyway, yes. lots of Batman forever. Not shit. pictured. I have a sleeping bag over. The on sleeping the floor. bag is over Maybe there. We'll yes. take a picture later. Um, the Diddler's gonna you know <laughs> gonna take a nap in there, but just like leave me alone for like half an hour. Oh, oh God, no. we gotta we'll, yeah, we'll never get have, the stains out. Say do you have Clorox wipes? Ugh. <laughs> And it's not for anything in particular. It just has nothing to do with my nap. I just, I was, I'm just asking. I might need some. The diddler nap. God. Okay. Without further ado, I can't believe we're making this a joke. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> we're running through with yep. the fucking with the bat uh. symbol behind us and the, ah, and the forever logo comes up and here we are. The fucking Doritos 3D uh, text. <laughs> Yeah, 3D Doritos text oh, on the back. So good. I, my brain immediately goes back to like the Sega Genesis and the PC game, which are both horrible. Maybe maybe that's something we'll circle back around on because I would love to play that with you. Not oh, not in the immediate it. future, but if we ever cross that hill, well, mm -hmm. don't, don't count your tricks before the hatch because we got Batman Forever on Sega Genesis that we could start fucking around mm. with. All right. Well, maybe you heard it here first, folks. Possibly, <laughs> well, maybe on that Twitch to keep an eye out. Uh, yeah, future diddler will, uh, <laughs> will keep that in the pocket in the old uh, feather in the cap. Um, one of my favorite things about this year, or at least the first few movies, is the, how the WB logo turns into the fucking bat symbol. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It just feels so fucking good. Um, a anytime a movie like they spend a little bit of the budget to to change the 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 corporate overlords logo is always. I like it. I know I said this like ten times already. But let's get into it, but. <laughs> We need the plot crunch from our guest. Oh no! So plot I'm not crunch. Prepared for this. Plot crunch. Batman Forever. Uh, so, very short. Very short. Yeah. The entire movie is Jim Carrey. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Smoking. Carrey. <laughs> Jim Carrey already has a pre-established character that he just doesn't call the Riddler, but he has all the merchandise and collateral and. Uh, yeah, teams up with Two Face to destroy Batman and steal a bunch of shit and suck the brain juice out of all of Gotham so he can be the smartest, suavest version of Val Kilmer that he could possibly be. <laughs> Why is that overshadowing the Batman plot? I do not know. Uh, uh, yeah, he is obsessed with Bruce yeah. Wayne. Yeah. Holy cow! It's a he's yeah he's obsessive. Yeah. Yeah, there's very little Batman. In this at all. When you get down to brass tacks, he's just kind of, he's a tertiary he character is. in this movie. He really is. Yeah. For all the things that people love to complain about this movie, and I, I'm sure this is the last time I'll say that because I have a lot of positive things to say. Oh, yeah. I, Something. We, we love this movie, by the way. Spoilers. Uh, so that that's probably the one major sin of this film is that Batman is barely in this. I mean, you get a lot of Bruce Wayne, so it kind of evens out. But yeah, Batman, he, the scenes he's in are good. But yeah, I, I, we need we need some more Batman up in this. Not only more Batman, but like all the stuff that is supposed to be like Bruce's uh, journey, yeah, or character growth in this, and how he's going back to like stuff that happened. You know, his family was shot and all that shit, and like how that reflects uh, with with Dick's parents dying, and how he feels responsible for not only his parents' death but also Dick's uh, parents' death. Um, I feel like a lot of that, like all of that shit, is clipped. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of deleted scenes. You can watch most of them. And I know that there's also stuff that is scripted but not shot. And then there's even a piece that was in a fucking comic book that wasn't actually shot or scripted or something like uh. that. The novelization, we got to we gotta check it out now. <laughs> Maybe break out the old Diddler uh, costume again. Might have to hold on to it after this record. I thought this was going to go right in the trash. And now I might have to put it away in the old closet oh. next to the uh, other, uh, you know, obvious costumes. Also, I, I wonder if anybody can tell... Diddler's hair is actually <laughs> it's dyed? like neon red. <laughs> red There's <laughs> some gel happening. I, I hope yeah. you can see the face mask. I, I, it looks good in person. I don't know how it looks on yeah. camera. <laughs> Sean is not just jaundiced. He <laughs> actually painted. I, I know I'm very mask. pale. I'm a very pale white man, but I, I yeah, you're right, Julie. I'm not that pale. <laughs> so so we open up and it's it's the it's the uh, the bank heist, oh, Two Faces bank best. heist, and this is pretty great because uh, well first we see Pat Hingle comes back, he's Commissioner Gordon, and he's like, well, oh, Batman, he's up there, uh, get him, Two Face, or whatever, and then we get introduced to fucking Nicole Kidman's character, um, the Chase, Batman Chase Meridian. Yeah, yes. we also get the Batman suit up in the beginning. Now it's all serious, and then. You, then you immediately know what kind of movie this is going to be within the first minute. <laughs> within the it right here with Alfred saying, "May I persuade you to take a sandwich with you, sir?" And he's like, "I'll get drive through." 
You know what you're getting into yeah. at that point. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're doing. It. Well, I'll get McDonald's. TM. <laughs> Even yeah. that. Well, yeah. 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 We don't sell out. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Okay. It can happen. Um, Thank you, Warner Brothers. W- w- watching Returns after this, they have a suit up scene in that, and it's been a hot minute since I've seen the first one, so I don't remember if they do in that film. But in that, they do have a suit up scene, but it's very like what you would expect: puts the suit on, comes out of the closet. Throws the cape to the side, ready for business. Yeah. And this, it's you know this now stereotypical because they repeat it in Returns or or not Returns in uh, Batman and Robin, yeah. where yeah. it's the crotch shots and the nipple shots. I was the... gonna say later in this movie, yeah. there's yeah. a nice butt shot there's, real quick. There's like... no reason to show that ass shot later. <laughs> I mean, then, like I Schumacher, mean... like at the end of this movie, Schumacher is just like, ah, fuck it. And Val Kilmer's got a nice ass, put it on screen. <laughs> sure. Why not? Val Kilmer's ass looks nothing like that. I'm sure it is <laughs> it's a beautiful a, bum. It's a stunt butt, you but think? Stunt butt. Oh, big time. In the Batman suit? Also, it's a sculpted Batman suit. No one wearing a Batman suit looks like There's that. also a zipper on his ass crack. <laughs> In case he's got a poop. <laughs> We're going to get into the- to the to Batman the... shits? Oh, he's going to have that McDonald's. Maybe. One too many Big Macs. <laughs> yeah, he's going to get that new menu back in, in, in when this came out. That new menu, you get the fucking chicken nuggets or the McNuggets on the on the quarter pounder. The secret bat menu. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Well, God. he's probably got a fucking toilet built into the chair of the Batmobile, honestly. <laughs> Just drops it on the street. We need to get that Batman pizza, don't forget. Oh, shit. Yeah. Little Caesar's Batman mm-hmm. pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he Just gets- real quick about the nipples. <laughs> Let's just get it out of the way. They're not as bad as they are as in the next one. No, no. I was going to say. They are there. They're not as bad. They're not as bad. And Schumacher was like, well, we we can make really good suits now, so let's make it like statuesque and put the nipples on them and the and the abs and I'm like that's so fucking dumb and like even right here or maybe even later a little bit yeah when 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 uh, Chase like uh <laughs> He yeah, calls but, him. Yeah. He like she like puts his hands on him. Like that's not his pecs or no. his or his six pack. No. And yeah. she's like, oh my There's god. There's a quarter inch of rubber <laughs> between You're so sexy. him. Yeah, she's and like her. grabbing his cod piece for Christ's sake in that. Scene. That thing we'll talk about that. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, he he's going off to this bank heist to stop Two Face, and you know Chase Meridian's there, like you said. Gordon's there. Yeah. All the cops are there, and we have this one security guard. I feel like this guy's been in other shit, but he is just this bumbling idiot of a of a security guard <laughs> who's just the whole time oh, just screaming and cry. I mean, I guess if I was in the situation he's in, where he's in a fucking vault, a bank <laughs> vault, being lifted in the air with acid pouring into it, boiling <laughs> acid. Yeah, I guess I'd be a little. Upset. I would be a little. Uh, upset. Your shoes are melting. I mean, Batman's taking your hearing aid <laughs> with a fucking like... cork pop. <laughs> the sound effects That's in so this good. movie are just. Beautiful. It's, Beautiful. It's funny. I, they're the campiest, shittiest, stupidest shit. It's funny. But they're perfect. They're absolutely perfect. Can you yeah. can you tell me why this bank vault is full of acid? Now, it's the very same acid that made Two Face Two Face. <laughs> but is this like Boss Maroney's like fucking uh, 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 safety deposit box? It's just full of the acid that he threw in the courtroom. And that's what I was gonna say. It's funny to me that you you know Tyler Lee Jones was trying to take this role so seriously, yeah. and like he does play it serious for the most part. I mean, there's a couple scenes where he's hamming it up with, without a doubt. Yeah, but it's like the way this character is written. Like Tommy, my guy. Like, did you read the script? This guy has played like a cartoon fucking villain from beginning to end. Outside of like one or two really cryptic ass lines. Like, like, I, I don't know what he was expecting, what he was getting into, but like what you just explained, it's like, yeah, there's all these pink lights. You really like in a two-faced thing that looks like it came out of like a 60s comic. I was going to say, when you get to the makeup chair and it's like, I'm half Tommy Lee Jones, half Spencer's gifts. Yeah. Like, it's just <laughs> the, like... How? It, it's how? Like, it's like a RuPaul's like <laughs> drag challenge. Like do half of your partner's face. <laughs> Blind, stupid. <laughs> what is it? Simple. Do do the the yeah. Oh my God. So they start lifting this fucking ass. Well, first Batman gets in there, pulls the mask or, or the gag out of his mouth. It's a trap. Yeah, they lock. Well, they like, two face locks him in the fucking vault yeah. with, with this, this young man as Pat yeah. Angle calls him. <laughs> Yeah, fucking Admiral Akbar for crying out loud. <laughs> oh <laughs> the <my> trap. <laughs> and then the acid starts filling it up, and Batman cools a cucumber, rips the hearing aid off. Oh, I need that. Yeah, buddy, you're about to burn alive. Trust Batman. The, the vault is also being pulled away by a helicopter. Yeah, I think that was the same helicopter the Joker got dragged off at the end of the first one. <laughs> and, yeah. And speaking of dark, like Two Face's goal is to 
is to dissolve Batman and this <laughs> fat security guard guy into shit and then dump it on the fucking patrons of of uh Gotham yeah, City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Like like fly it over and just drop it off like yeah. emptying out a fucking like, you know, the like the the, the toilet on an airplane. <laughs> a chemical flight. toilet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh fucking portage on. <laughs> So Batman, he uses the guy's hearing aid to kind of crack the lock, and he gets out at the last second, and he's like, he gets the bat uh, uh, grappling hook, and he, he fires it. He's like, all right, hang on. And the guy's like, hang on. And he just like swings his motherfucker into this hole perfectly. Perfectly. I mean, he is Batman. I mean, hey. If, if, yeah. I mean, l listen, there's been other shows, and I, my brain immediately, of course, goes to Naruto of all fucking things, where I'm like, yeah, they're ninjas. They just, they know exactly where they're throwing it. And then, like, you're watching the show, and they're literally taking, like, like, like calculus and physics classes. And, like, I'm like, okay, I didn't think it was that serious. So I'm wondering if Bruce Wayne's got his physics textbooks at home that he sits and looks over to know the exact trajectory. All of these the kind calculations of are just appearing in the air, some, like, Rain Man ass shit. Yeah, like and he just fires it and just sends him right back through the hole. Like the hangover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So the so so Two Face so so Batman's still hanging on to Two Face's fucking chopper, right? Oh my god! And um, they they fly into like this eye, and he tries to like burn him off. There's actually like Two Face actually has a couple good plans in this to kill Batman. Yeah, I don't know why he's not dead. Like he never like goes and like does it fully, right? Yeah, I mean it's a lot of that stuff where like you thought you killed him because he's hanging on the thing, but he's Batman, so he yeah. got away at the last second. He fucking falls on the windshield and. Two Face just shoots the shit out of yeah. his pilot, which I love. So, hey, face, face the bat. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Oh god, the goons. Like oh, this god, is where they really goons. ramp up being stupid. Like not that they weren't in the first two films, but you were kind of like, ah, huh, they have some character in this and the next one. They are just disposable. I get, I get the stuff for Joker because wow. he's a he's like cracked and he's like the clown prince or whatever, and he's really fucking nuts. And like he would be painting things with like his face and or like having like those giant balloons full of gas and shit like or, that or blowing yeah. away his number one man. Well, yeah, but I don't think that Two Face would have a fucking yin yang parachute and like <laughs> you know neon fucking Tommy guns for his well, for his guys. Oh my god, there's so much neon in this movie, and like all of the goons have like. S multiple septum piercings yeah. and just like they're all I don't even a, know it, it is there's a product of the that are half I black guess, and half uh, yeah. red it is a product of the 90s hardcore kind of like our last episode Texas Chainsaw 4 or Tex Texas Chainsaw Massacre the, ne the new is it new or next generation the next generation next generation excuse me Captain <laughs> Picard um, make it so yeah uh, little leather face a little Earl Grey tea please <laughs> uh, really nailed that accent such a phases to Chainsaw. Uh, but yeah, so but Two Face takes yeah. him oh. down by putting literally the club TM <laughs> on the steering wheel of the helicopter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Even so it'll just that. crash. Yeah. I, I, you know, but like Two Face wants to like have his again, like not to keep picking on Tommy Lee Jones, like, but it's a similar kind of thing. Like, even the character wants to have its cake and eat it too, where it's like it wants to be serious but playful at the same time, like everything you just listed, and then like you get to his hideout later, and it like looks like something out of like hell, and it's like, all right, you're kind of like you don't know what line you want to straddle. Like I'm, I'm here for it, but it is a little confusing. He has a lot of mono, like little monologues that blink and you miss it, and you're like, oh, that was something besides being goofy. Yeah. Or like I love when he really plays into the the two halves of the personality like when he's when he's talking as like as uh as tommy lee jones and then he well tommy lee jones yeah harvey dent <laughs> harvey, harvey dent, dent when yeah. he's talking as half harvey dent like especially at the end but we'll get to that and then yeah, when he's the, actually two-faced well, or uh right. you know whatever especially, the fuck the other half is called yeah, yeah, yeah two-faced the, the judge according yeah. to that one episode of the third i think animated season series the judge and and then harvey dent yeah yeah maybe no maybe. shit or i don't know it makes sense if you've seen the episode, I think. <laughs> it, it's been a while. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, so he gets away. Obviously, he gets away. So then we uh, we get this horrible CG of oh, the yeah. fucking city, like Dungeons and Dragons level bad. They did it with all miniatures, like they did for the first two films. And then they were like, let's cover it up with a bunch of bullshit CG. And it looks fucking, it does not age well. Some of the stuff at night is okay, like the helicopter and stuff, like you can get away with it. But once it's in stark daylight, it's like, fuck, that looks uh, yeah. like shit. Yeah, it's bad. Like there was no reason to do a fly in to fucking Wayne Industries. <sighs> Yeah, and then, you know, this is where you get the introduction to Jim Carrey's Edward Nigma, who is just immediately this nutcase. Like, right off the bat, you know there's something off about this guy. It's him. <laughs> he 
<laughs> right. He's obsessed with Bruce Wayne. Oh, Bruce Wayne. God, it's so good. And Ed Begley Jr. Ed Begley Jr. is there. To. Yeah. As Stickley. Oh, God, God. he is great. Oh, he's, he's so just good. like, as Ed, as Ed Nigma is like bothering Bruce, who's just doing, you know, doing a quick walk around just yeah. to check on the progress <laughs> of the different projects. He's like, get back to work, Edward. Get back to work, Edward. And all he wants to do is have Bruce Wayne buy and support this brainwave contraption. Yeah. And Bruce is like, how about I have my secretary get back to you on that? He's like, that's not going to be good for me. <laughs> Two of a kind. Yeah. I, I love how like Bruce is trying to let him down easier, right? Or or at least like- Just avoid the confrontation. Like, let's yeah. not give him a no in person. Like, Or like at least put it like on the docket. Like maybe I'll get to it in six months. But you're right. Yeah, he's just kind of trying to avoid it. And as soon as he's like, well, well, why not? He's like, well, you're you're messing with people's brain waves. I think that needs to go through a. F- it doesn't seem moral. It doesn't sure. seem okay. There's just too many questions. Yeah, there's just too many questions. He doesn't take that lightly. The but what I don't get is why he couldn't just wait for the in, for the, for the meeting because Bruce Wayne owns is his boss. Yeah, why is that not going to be good for him? Is he not going to be there the next day? I mean, the way Bagley Jr. makes it sound, I guess after that well, confrontation, is that's going to be the case. Does he say that he, he says that he terminates the project this morning? Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. And it was his first time meeting Bruce. I mean, yeah. even though Bruce hired him personally, I, uh, I was on the hiring <laughs> slip. <laughs> I have it. <laughs> He's so obsessed. <laughs> I, I love though where this goes, and before we get to that, I, I love this quick scene of the bat signal going off in the background, and Bruce Wayne's like, "All right, I have some other business yeah. to take care yeah. of." See ya. He goes into his office, and the, the guy, this scene kills me. He has a chair. He sits down and says like a password. Chair. And just boom, he sits down. <laughs> the password is it's password. Ch- He's like a fucking like that thing at the bank that like you shoot the uh, oh, the box yeah. in. He goes down this tube or or like uh, Mortal Kombat Annihilation with that gyro shit. They're going well, down those tubes. I was gonna say it looked like a water slide from like Action Park. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh man! If you don't, if you don't bring a mat, you're people. getting. Yeah. yeah, if you don't have a mat, you're burning your ass in half. <laughs> like he's in a fucking Iron Maiden too. Yeah, I think that's oh another. God. That's a different that's, scene. That's a but different yeah, scene. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, no, but it, like the thing that he's in. But like, how the fuck did you get a tunnel from Wayne Enterprises to the fucking Batcave? Money. Who's digging Money. that tunnel? <sighs> If, if, <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, part I, right, of it, whatever. Alfred, like, what that's who. No, but like, go through the building, spin him out into a car, and then he goes. To, I, I oh, could I buy know. into that more in like the Nolan trilogy because they kind of like do have some stuff like that, but they bake it into the lore and the mythology. This With one Lucius is just and stuff like that. Yeah, this one is just kind of like, ah, he's Batman. He's got money. Don't overthink yeah. it. <laughs> sure, of course you can do that. Don't overthink a lot of things in this movie. Yeah. Just go with it. So go with go with it, Diddler. This is the first time it dawned on me, but like the reason the Riddler is created is because of Chase Meridian. Technically. Yeah. Because he's in a hurry. Yeah. Bruce Wayne blows off Edward Nigma because the bat signal is going off. And he turns out to be Chase, like at the at the fucking precinct. Not even, not even Pat Hingle. So she inadvertently created the fucking Riddler. Just, just like yeah. in uh, the Amazing Spider-Man Two, when he couldn't remember Jamie Fox's name. What was your name again? Uh, uh, oh, you have I'm Electro. <laughs> Go check out on Patreon.com/slash Movie Dumps for five and ten dollars tiers. We did that commentary track with Tony from Hack the Movies. There's last two. Year. Yeah, we there's two of them. Oh God, one inch. I forgot we did both movies. Yeah, we did both. Disappointing. Jim Carrey's Riddler is a better. Uh, story than uh, Jamie Fox's Electro. I mean, yeah, yeah. If you're gonna fucking dime it. <laughs> then go go for it. You yeah, know? I mean, now that you're, I mean, I pointed they're, us in that direction, but yeah. <laughs> also, they were both. That's so weird. They're both on in living color. They came up together as comedians. Yeah, that's, that's a, a weird point. thing. Anyway, so yeah, so then we we do get that meeting with Chase Meridian where she's fucking the one that turned the bad signal on. Bad signal's not a beeper. <laughs> <laughs> she gets up, she's feeling him, giving him like a titty twister. And then I love how Gordon comes in out of nowhere and ruins the moment. Like, oh, yeah. I shot a signal. <laughs> oh, in his fucking robe. <laughs> he cock that, blocks Batman. Batman. Are you getting a blowjob up here? <laughs> well, he was about to get a Remy because we know the zipper on the back. <laughs> I, I'm convinced that the cod piece pops off so that he could fuck. You think? Gets just, in a quickie. Yeah, it just pops right off. Or he's got to take a piss. I mean, he is Batman. Why not? Fuck it. No go. You think if Pat didn't, if Pat Hingle didn't come up, he would have been like, 
All right, I got I got time for <laughs> at least a couple bumps. <laughs> she was oh sucking God. that bat rod. I, I don't know. What, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> The diddler strikes again. I, I, I don't know if Pat, you know, if, again, if Pat Hingle didn't walk in there, Commissioner Gordon, whatever the fuck you want to call him. But yeah, so then we see this, <laughs> this actual Riddler creation, if you want to call it that, late at night working at, at, at Wayne Enterprises, you know, complaining, cursing Wayne, uh, you know, uh, you know, you know, looked at this guy like an idol and hey. then he gets shot down and he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to get, I'm going to show him. Yeah. He wants to create his fucking invention or finish it rather. And Ed Bagley's like, what the f- <laughs> Edward, Edward, yeah. what are you doing in here after hours? What was Bagley Jr. doing there, by the way? Just, I, I need to be murdered by the villain of this movie. <laughs> I need to come here and, and, and piss him off. Caffeine will kill you. Uh-huh. And he fucking hits him with a fucking uh, a cup of coffee or a coffee pot. Right? Coffee yeah, pot. yeah, yeah. This is one of the best scenes in the whole movie. So I, we good. quoted the entire thing when we were watching oh, it before. Yeah. It's just so many golden lines, and it's all Jim Carrey. <laughs> like, I'm if he, I wouldn't be surprised if he ad libbed this entire scene. Probably because it's ridiculous. It, it involves one of my two favorite shows. Uh, you know, Bash Masters. Yeah. <laughs> It's a fishing show. <laughs> the fucking fishing. Because it's like, you know, if you haven't seen the movie somehow, uh, uh, he has like basically, they're hourglasses, but in my head I keep thinking of like a mixer. I think of a blender. Oh, yeah, blender, blender. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's supposed to be an hourglass is like kind of his thing. He makes I, his invention. I, that's what mark. I think it's supposed to be. It's a fucking blender. It, it, I'm not going to disagree for sure, especially some of those bigger ones you see later yeah. on. But anyway, it's even this, yeah, this rudimentary like headgear shit, it's it's a fucking blender. It's yeah. a blender for the brain juice. Yeah. It, it's basically that. And then he has this device that he sticks on your head and, and this like radio laser essentially connects your brain to the TV. But the caveat is that he he doesn't tell anyone this. Yeah. But his scheme is that he is sucking your IQ right out of you, basically, or your information. He's vacuuming your cortex. He is <laughs> sucking up your brain. IQ, <laughs> vacuuming your cortex, <laughs> feeding off your brain. Yeah, it's yeah. He does a whole dance <laughs> so number good. while this guy. Yeah, <laughs> it's the funniest fucking shit, dude. It, again, it's it's not the Riddler that you might be familiar with in the comics or the cartoons, but it is a damn good performance. Could you imagine Robin Williams doing this? He's the only other one if you wanted this kind of character that I feel like in that in the 90s that would have nailed it. Uh, different, I love, different, but... I would love to see what it would be. Yeah. I can't imagine or, or it like myself. Or like a Nick Cage maybe might be another one that nah, could be. I'm good. It would he, be very different, but I, it would be interesting. Nick Cage is Superman in this universe. Don't forget. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, yeah. Oh, part, of, part of their turns fall, yeah. off, fall out. <laughs> Carrie also has a lot of good, serious parts in this. He's yeah. not just being a goof the whole time. Like... Like when he's saying like, you know, I'll make you understand and like all that shit is creepy as hell. Oh, yeah. And then he goes when once he fucking dials up the comedy, yeah. it's funny. But like there are some like weird bone chilling lines that he delivers in this. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, even as funny as the line is, it's like when you think about what he just did is kind of chilling when he pushes him off the fucking uh, <laughs> waterfall like because there's this huge window no, just... at, at the end of the uh, end of the room and he pushes him on this uh, this computer chair and Jim Carrey's like wait hang on and he runs up and the whole joke you find out is he's got the helmet holding yeah. him in place and he rips it off and Bigley Jr. drops to his death and he goes uh, what does he say you are fired or shall I say. Terminate. <laughs> Surf's up, big kahuna. Yeah, yeah. Which like he couldn't just be no. terminated. He's like, one more, one more. Yeah. I got it. The big kahuna line, though, as funny as it is, I'm just thinking about that, like, putting myself in the shoes of someone witnessing that. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> He's just like, but, like, that is totally a Jim Carrey, like, improv. Big yeah. Time, you know big I mean? time. It works. It, it works. works really well. So, so the next morning, oh, oh, he, like, he, like, you know, puts the hand on the camera. This one is creepy because he's, uh, what does he say when he looks into the fucking camera? He's like, why doesn't somebody just put you in your place or whatever? Yeah. And he and he fucks up the CCTV. The next day, <laughs> he's there and he's like crying and he's and he's got like a note from Ed Bailey Jr. because he's like, I don't know what happened. He like jumped out the window and it's like, you, you'll see that uh, everything matches the hand yeah. letter. Like the hand the letter. The handwriting and the sentence structure match. Exactly. <laughs> 
He's like a, my father or a brother or a cousin that visits a lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I love how Batman immediately is like, all right, this doesn't sound right. It's like, well, we got a videotape. We got a videotape of him running out and killing himself. I, don't, I still don't know how that worked. The but. deepest deep fake that has ever been done. Mm-hmm. I don't even know. He like reassembled the Was Ed window? Bagley Jr. like a master video editor and, and composite artist? How did he get I, that I knowledge? No I I don't know. He somehow was able to alter the security footage. I guess. I, I love I love the fucking note. I was gonna say the suicide note. What is does the it best say? Oh, it's like ever. so it's straight. It's like to whom may concern regarding my suicide. <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> and then Pat Hingis <laughs> just like, yep, definitely, definitely is suicide. suicide. Uh, and that's almost like a <laughs> thanks, Bruce. Get the fuck out of here. That's a joke in and of itself because that's just kind of how Nigma just pictured this guy, just real straightforward, like straight laced asshole. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, they'll believe this. It's they, one one sentence suicide. Note. Well, that's that's his Achilles heel. He thinks everybody's dumber than he is. Oh, yeah. well, that that's the character though. That I will say yeah. that aspect of the character nailed it for sure, yeah. big time. Um, and then you know, kick up the fucking flaming lips, dude. Oh my god, my favorite scene in the whole entire movie has been since I was a child. Let me pre uh, preface this with the fact that we watch movies when we go to bed all the time. When it's Batman Forever, we skip to this scene, <laughs> Julie falls asleep, and then I watch the rest of the film by myself until I fall asleep. Listen, it takes me about two minutes to fall into a deep sleep. If that, I need a stopwatch <laughs> Check next time. Check my Fitbit. <laughs> Doesn't lie. Oh my God. I'm blessed. But I never want to miss this scene because as a kid, I saw this and I was like, I'm gonna live in that apartment. <laughs> it's just that's what I want. The that's apart- what I want. But the apartment's life. like the eve of a building. It's like a it's literally hallway. the tip. Yeah. Oh, it's a hallway. Oh, okay, I'm trying to picture what apartment, and I'm like, oh, it's barely an apartment. Nigma's it's a apartment. Hallway yeah. with all of the Riddler, non-Riddler, the off-brand Riddler merch. The Diddler. <laughs> the Diddler. That's where I got it from. He has like this weird fortune telling machine with the like Zoltar. this guy. Yeah. <laughs> <Da-da-ding>. <laughs> Da-da-ding. It's not a yes or a no. It's a no or a question mark. Yeah, but yeah. the no is like some like, eh, yeah. eh, but the the, the, the yes is like, yeah. bling, bling. <laughs> not doing it justice. It's so good. It, it is great. Yeah, I just wrote, I think in my notes, the fuck in the corner, because that's how he gets the idea for the costume. It's a, it's a scene a little bit later, but. Yeah, we can talk about it now. Uh, he's sitting there. He's got like, I don't know. Is this again? Is this like, did he get this information from Bagley when he drained them? Like. He has like some fucking Photoshop yeah, program that's that what I'm functions saying. It's like the same clueless technology <laughs> that Alicia Silverstone is using in her closet. Oh my god! So, MDU, it's connected. It's they co- might be in the same universe. No, because oh. Paul Paul Rudd created it. Load up, Celery Man. Right. So so Tim and Eric and Halloween Six and, and clueless. At least the Thorn trilogy take place also in the Clueless universe and Batman Forever and Batman universe. Forever. Yeah. MDU. MDU. MDU Movie Dumpster Universe. It's all everybody. connected. Yep. Deep lore. Um, but yeah, he has this ridiculous like Boulder's Gate, Elder Scrolls, make your character <laughs> thing, and he's got different costumes that appear, like kind of like a Spider-Man movie. The Puzzler, <laughs> Captain Kill. Yeah, <laughs> a Captain Kill's great. My brain, you know, again, my brain goes somewhere else. Goes to UHF where uh, they're making fun of Rambo. Oh, the Ra- yeah, the out. Rambo thing. Uh, but yeah, I love how he does the pu- uh, Is it the Puzzler or the Riddle Man or something the that puzzler, he lands? Uh, yeah, yeah that he, he goes, lands on. And he goes question mark man. Yeah. And then he looks at the fucking puppet that he just seals the costume from, and he's like, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The Riddler, T- the Diddler, TN. I, I will say I do, and this is a nitpick on the costume, because I do kind of love this costume. I do kind of wish he had the purple, uh, you know, face uh, mask. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, that Which would have made it a lot easier to buy for the Diddler <laughs> equivalent. Like, but in- hey, you know, face, man- f- f- face paint works. My mom did it on that old costume, <laughs> yeah. so. Up until this point, only Frank Gorshin has been the Riddler, no? In live action, at yeah, least. Yeah, right. I, mean, I fucking love Frank Gorshin's Riddler. I guess Riddler. the animated series would have been going at that point. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah. And there's probably other cartoons that he's been in, like the Justice League and stuff like that. Yeah. By that time. Yeah. <laughs> so so Batman, so Bruce goes to see Chase. Yes. In her office. Oh, but going back, this is when he creates the first riddle and leaves Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, right, yeah. that's right, that's right. Before yeah. he gets the costume, you're right. Yeah. yeah. Comes yeah, up with his moped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wayne Manor. <laughs> like he's so shitty, just full of venom. He yeah. fucking oh, he's oh, I'm gonna get you, Bruce. I he, love this. To be very, he see. does pretty damn good. I oh, love this yeah. first riddle is like a picture of Bruce Wayne and like this fucking tongue that rolls yeah. out with uh, like a, a the note on the, the riddles tongue. are amazing. Yeah. Yeah. They really are. Uh, I fucking made one for Julie for her birthday. Yes, you did. Oh. The, the tearing off and scratch my head uh, riddle I made 
and you're probably seeing it right now. <laughs> yes, and cool. if I ever get to meet Val Kilmer, that is what he is signing <laughs> for sure. Get him to sign my copy of Heat, please. <laughs> I well, I want him to or sign Tombstone. my Tombstone, Ghost in the Darkness, Never mm. Doctor oh, Moreau, yeah. Island Doctor. Oh, Moreau. Yeah. Okay, okay, right, so right, yeah. Real genius. <laughs> I mean, I could go down the lot. You would give him the fucking doors uh, do- one. Oh, I mean, I think go. that movie's fine, but it's it's it doesn't hold up great. <laughs> it's it's a good movie. He went real method on that oh, movie. Oh yeah, and was yeah. Being, like, could you imagine it, dealing with it, fucking Jim Morrison in your just, head? Yeah. Didn't he lose his wife? He might have in that, that documentary. That time, I think he I lost his wife because of that role. <laughs> Damn you, Morrison! I mean, if you were speaking to me in Jim Morrison poetry all the time, I'd be like. Joe. It's Mad Mardigan or Bust, right? <laughs> like that. Oh, has, yeah, there you oh, go. Yeah. You need that oh, Steely yeah. Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Willow, everybody. Uh, but yeah, he goes to visit. It, well, it's Bruce as as himself, right. not yeah. Batman. He goes to her for as off. Val Kilmer. Bruce yeah. Wayne as Val. Yeah, Kilmer. Exactly. <laughs> uh, and I thought this was fucking hilarious. And I know maybe I'm just making a a dirty joke here. Shocker! The Diddler's making a dirty joke. <laughs> uh, uh, show on the Diddler. Let's not forget I, that. That's Mister Diddler to you. Uh, where he, he he finds this fucking table of like magazines, like Time Magazine, People Magazine, all with Batman on it. And I was like, oh, there's her fucking jerking material. There's her oh. pranking material. Yeah, well, to your point, that actually happens later, but- Oh, okay, my bad. No, that's okay, though, because I wanted to talk about it, because there's a deleted scene where she's on like a talk show where it goes into like oh. more depth of her psychoanalyzing Batman. But, and to your point, too, she pe- pegs him as a schizophrenic. Yeah, she mentions that. Yeah. yeah, maybe that is in this scene. You're right. Yeah, or, or the scene I'm talking about. Well, she's like, "You're Bruce Wayne. Buy me a new fucking door." Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's how he gets in because she's set us on up, her Julie. Fitness. Set us up. Yeah. <laughs> she's punching yeah. her punching bag. He thinks she's getting beat up. He knocks her fucking door down, and he's like, "I need oh, to get you out of those clothes." And into a black dress. Because yeah. we're going to the fucking circus, baby. You're and it's like, right. of course I'm going to the circus. You told me to take off my clothes. I just immaculately conceived your child. Of course I'm going to go to the circus <laughs> with the father of my miracle baby. It didn't even like, matter where he took you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Not, not to a nice dinner, not to the opera. A fucking circus. I mean, if if he was in the Batman suit, she would have dropped clothes. I don't care what she had. If she had like a six piece suit on, she oh, would have found oh, yeah. a way to oh, get yeah. it off. Big time. If that's even a thing, we'll say in the MDU it is, just so I can be right. <laughs> no, I agree with you. Uh, but you're right. They go to this circus, which is that like something Wayne related. Of course, everything's Wayne related in it, this. It's, there's always the the fucking one percent fucking aristocratic cocksuckers at all of these events. Oh, <laughs> every single one. It's not just like her and Bruce. It's like a thing. Well, you and know they, what they mean? play yeah. that up in a later scene, uh, when, when, when that big fight scene with Two Face later mm-hmm. uh, at the, uh, the the Enigma Ball or whatever. Oh yeah, the gala. Yeah, but yeah, the, this the circus scene's great because this is where you get introduced to Dick Grayson and the Flying Graysons, which and... isn't bad. Like yeah. I like that they have like I'm his. Into it. I like that they have like the Burt Ward uh, uh, costume yeah. kind of thing going yeah, that's on, cool. which is neat. It's it's a good callback. Yeah. Um, it, it works really well. The times that it comes back later in the film too. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, we joked about it a little already. Chris O'Donnell, definitely a little too old for this character. And then I think, honestly, when he jokes about his what his name should be later and he says, what, what about Nightwing? I was oh, like, yeah, yeah. I know you got to get Robin, but <laughs> Nightwing would have made more sense. Yeah. I, I couldn't help but think like this whole circus scene, like what if Burton ended up making this movie and like what <sighs> this would have looked like? And this would have been a great way to bring back some of those. Did uh, Chiavelli could have come back with his pet monkey? That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Like, like oh, the fucking penguin really crew could have came back, you know? Uh, yeah. Like doing their uh. own thing and, you know, trying to get away from the penguins, you know, circle. Yeah. I mean, they all fucking abandoned them at the end of that movie. It's kind of sad. I forgot about that. Well, the clown guy gets uh, shot. Yeah, so everybody's yeah. like, all right, we'll do whatever. Yeah, when we they, want. when, when, oh God, yeah. When he's yeah. like, I don't know if we should be stealing kids. <laughs> Batman Returns. If you haven't somehow seen it, holy shit. After, after this review, go, go watch Batman Forever, <laughs> then, then returns. But like, yeah, in reverse. Yeah, when the, when the literal pallbearers with the penguins at the end, it's like, God damn, no wonder the fucking pa- mom and dad were like, they sold the a toy with pallbearer penguins <laughs> dragging some slop of shit down. Imagine that. Yeah. that I would, oh, imagine if that was a toy. Oh, my God. I have the penguins in the toy chest. But I'm saying like literal set that's like, hi, Oswald Cozzlepot corpse brought into the water with its penguin companions. Get it, McDonald's with your, uh, with your hamburger. Yeah. <laughs> um. Turns different colors in water, turns blue. <laughs> so, 
So yeah, Two Face takes over, and he basically oh. puts this bomb in the place, and he's like, "All right, whoever the <laughs> fuck is Batman, you either know him or you are Batman. So tell me, or I'm gonna blow this fucking place up uh, in two minutes with this." Giant ball of TNT, stat, like yeah. stuffed with TNT. Yeah. If this was made in 2022, you know, you know, without a fucking doubt. I well, he's dead now, so maybe not without a doubt. But Adam West would have been standing there in the crowd saying, "Yeah, sometimes you can't get rid of a bomb." <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the Marvel speak kind of shit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Open anyway, time. I was thinking about which has that. been infiltrating everything lately, and I'm not into it. But yeah, anyway, I, it, it works for the most part, but I just my. I'm going right there like, oh, that would have been in it if it was made in the last oh, five years. Oh, big yeah. time. So basically, the Flying Graysons are trying to get this bomb out. Why the fuck it's raising? I don't know. I was going to say, how is it more impending doom with it lifting higher? Well, it explodes the like, top and everything falls in on everybody? Yes I and guess. no, but the way, and I mean, I'm, I'm no fucking bomb expert. And I'm definitely, don't take this as me preaching at all. But my understanding, at least with nukes especially, or like some of those bigger bombs is you want to get it higher in the air because then you get like the full trajectory of the explosion. Like the, like okay. the, I see what you mean. Whereas if it that blows up on the ground, like, yeah, it's going to do damage on the ground. Out, Don't, and, exactly. Because yeah. you, uh, get, you get like a 360 explosion. Yeah, I, I've seen a lot of movies, uh, TV shows, uh, anime series, uh, you know, Dark Knight Rises again comes to mind. One Piece comes to mind where somehow a bomb needs to be lifted in the air to get the full impact. Gotcha. So I'm, I, again, not an expert, but I think that's the reason. And also an excuse to have the flying Graysons try to throw it in the fucking lake. Also true. I was going to say, <laughs> but it's even more risky because they had taken away the safety net. Without the safety <laughs> of a net. The <laughs> defying death drop. drop. Yeah. Which immediately made me think of like the drag queen death drops. Oh. And I'm like, <laughs> RuPaul's showing up. He's got a lip sync for his life. And then he just. <laughs> I was going to say. From the top. Fucking two rope lake. <laughs> two face comes out. He's like. <laughs> falls like hits the ground it's on the ground yeah yeah yeah, oh yeah. Oh. but uh you're, you're... away <laughs> yeah they take the net away to do that dangerous uh, uh stunt. stunt which looks awesome everyone yeah. claps yeah it's cool this is my favorite part of the movie okay well we... well you were setting it up and i derailed it for a second it's so, good so go for it now this is my favorite part of the movie because so so harvey's like you know want to use this batman somebody tell me they all stand up and it's a fucking uproar and val kilmer stands up and goes harvey <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> and like, he's not going to hear it, but like Nicole Kidman should hear it. Pat Hingle should hear it. The fucking mayor should hear it. Like he's as close as we are. Yeah. Screaming from the top of this lens. Fucking Two-Face is like a hundred yards away and it's just chaos. I, I was just saying to Joe before uh, recording, because you mentioned that to me. And I was like, imagine if that happened in the dark night. And it was like, you know, the scene where Joker's like, you know, reveal yourself and I'll stop killing people. And then like, there's that scene where he's about to reveal it and Harvey steps in. Yeah. If it was the Val Kilmer Batman, he would, oh no, no, Harvey, no, no, it's me. <laughs> it's me. It's me. It, huh? Joker. I'm Batman. And then, you know, he's not wearing hockey pads. No, but. no. Yeah, so. Funny as shit, though. Th this scene's great, too, at least from a plot perspective, because then, like Julie was saying, they don't have that safety net there. They do get the bomb in the lake. Yeah. They save everybody, but they get dropped. They all fall. Well, well Two-Face shoots, okay, right. okay, right, so right, two right, shoots right. them down. Okay, okay, so Two-Face shoots them down. But, question. <sighs> Two Face uses his coin to make decisions like this, right? Which we haven't really talked about yet. No, but yeah. like, because he's of two minds of everything, right? Yeah. And then, and they play into that a bunch. But like, when the fuck does he decide to do the coin flip? Like <laughs> when he's as... getting breakfast? Yeah. Like like what wh what? Wh why does it take him this time to flip the coin in in order to decide to whether or not to shoot the Graysons <laughs> out of the fucking sky? I mean, Two Face's coin is like, I mean, I hate to always go back to plot, you know, every time something yeah. like this happens in a movie, but like, that is a plot device that was invented for the exact scenario like this, where it's like, hey, he could get, and they make fun of this later in the film, where he keeps getting the yeah. wrong thing again and again yeah. and again. And he keeps doing it until he gets it. Right. But it's that thing where it's just like, that's just a part of the character. And in this instance, it had to su succeed or whatever you want to refer to it as for him to move the plot forward. And it, it is kind of stupid that it's inconsistent yeah, like I that. Just don't even bother. Just shoot, just have him shoot him. That's it. Because yeah. like, there are some great scenes that deal with that later with him actually being of two months, right. which is really cool. But they don't even like, I don't know. They never, they never like, lean into it that much 
And like you said, for the plot too. Yeah, and and you know, of course, Robin, as I'll just refer to him as, or Chris O'Donnell, he uh, he's the one that actually gets the bomb into the lake <laughs> while his family gets shot and murdered. So he comes back and, of course, mortified. But yeah. while that's all happening, obviously, we we didn't even say this, but. Bruce gets into the Batman gear and starts beating ass. Not even. He's just regular Bruce Wayne. Oh, is he? Everybody. Okay, I'm misremembering yeah. that. My bad, my bad. Like nobody And nobody in the news the next day is like, Bruce Wayne went out on the <laughs> on the fucking circus floor and beat the shit oh out of everybody. My God. Well, that's like, uh, you know, obviously came way later, but Arkham uh, City, mm-hmm. the video game. Oh, so good. The way that game opens, you're like, you're Bruce Wayne getting captured and just beat the shit out of the penguin oh, and his it's, goons. It's great, though. Yeah, but that's... Yeah, like yeah, so yeah. Good. way later, but similar yeah. idea. So Chris O'Donnell ends up going to the fucking. I, I guess like Pat Hing was like, oh, go to the bat, go to Bruce Manor, and uh, and you know he'll take care of you because he's yeah. rich. Why is that? Not the our first problem. Choice. Like <laughs> you should go to Bruce Wayne's house. Your parents are dead. He'll take care of you. Do you think Bruce like told him like, hey, bring him to my house because I feel responsible that I killed his fucking parents? I mean, maybe not that second part, but. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he, he he may have reached out. It was a Wayne, again. It was like a Wayne Circus event or whatever yeah. or charity event. Oh yeah, true. I, I, I didn't I didn't think about that. You know, because he always ends up there. I mean, of all the things that's consistent from the lore, that's one of them. I think it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Like I, 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 Chris O'Donnell is a little too whiny for me because he's like, oh, we, we hang on a lot of biker barns, Bruce, huh? You got a, is this a garage or museum, Bruce? Oh, yeah, he's got like the <laughs> yeah. Jay Leno garage with all the cars and motorcycles. But that I love that though because, you know, as soon as Robin gets dropped off by Commissioner Gordon, he's like waiting for Gordon to leave and he's like, all right, I'm out of here. <laughs> and Batman's like, okay. And then he goes, like you just said, he shows him the garage. He's like, hey, you know, yeah, that's this motorcycle that, that that the dealer has no idea what it's called, but Batman or Bruce Wayne did, and, yeah. and you know Robin knew what he was talking about. He's like, "Hey, if he fix this up, maybe uh, someone could keep it if they fix it." And he's like, "Hmm." And then fucking, I love Alfred comes out with this like, like, like chef made fucking burger, like something you get <laughs> at like Gordon Ramsay's <laughs> Dude, restaurant, and a it, chalice full of milk. It's, it's, it's to a chal- wash it down. It's a chalice like, of milk and a fucking rodeo burger because there's <laughs> fucking <laughs> onion rings on top of it. It looked really good. That it's might a, have to be our new tradition. It's a McDonald's commercial. <laughs> it literally, it was a quarter pounder. It wasn't, it wasn't Gordon Ramsay. I'm it was sorry. a quarter yeah. pounder it was a with Big onion, Mac. Yeah, it was a ro- rodeo uh, burger. Um, was that Burger King or I don't know? Uh, nah. Anyway, somebody got paid again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to Mickey D's, Ronald McDonald's sucking yeah. on the old bat dick. Suck on the old uh, cane. Whoa, Bob Kane? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Necrophiliacs unite. Uh, corpse fucker definitely is. <laughs> um, so, uh, so, so, yeah. So, so Bruce feels bad that yeah, because he he killed Robin's parents. He sure did. Yeah. The I'm Batman yeah. line didn't work. <laughs> Not this I'm time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that usually gets him to fucking, uh, you know, kneel down and and, and uh, ask for forgiveness. But uh, this time, in, in a loud area, where like 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 Joe Lascola said on a podcast 15 years from now, uh, uh, you know, people should have heard me, but they didn't. <laughs> Movie magic. He sounds nothing like that. That was a horrible killer impression. Yeah. <laughs> so so uh, you know, Bruce Bruce like has the reflection, and he's like, oh, just like my parents, they're dead. Um, and I, I'm connected to this kid because not only are my parents dead, but his parents are dead, and I did it. And I'm like, he's trying to get retribution. This whole movie, or like, um, well, he has this whole thing about like his father's journal that they yeah. they harp on, and they cut out a bunch of parts where like the last entry in the diary is like him uh, saying that his dad didn't want to go to go to the movies and he ends up like going to the movies because of Bruce and then that which ultimately ends up in their death. Right. But then you wouldn't have Batman or he wouldn't have saved all the people that he saved. So there's that weird butterfly effect. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, then we get a little bit with Alfred and, and Al. uh, Oh, good old Al. <laughs> good old Al. <laughs> I, I, I love this Alfred, first of oh, all. Oh, yeah. I'm best. so glad he was he, Alfred for so he, long. He, he did a great job. I mean, I love my Michael Caine, but I wish... I, what is the name of this Alfred? I what forgot is his, his name. Does it say it on the box? Do we get the name on the box at least? No. And his name is right Yeah, here. his name is... I was in five of these fucking movies <laughs> yeah. and you can't remember me, you bastards. Him, four of them. Diddler. Him and uh, Pat Hingle are the only people to be consistent in all four yeah, of the which, Batman which, movies. Uh, weird that they don't really do anything with with Bruce and, and Commissioner Gordon in this series, but I guess with the way that this character's handled, it doesn't really work. No. Mm. I, it's a... No. 
Outside of that <laughs> first one, he, he's he's way less of a liar than kind of just there in scenes and in like pretty much outside of that first movie. Pat Hingle yeah. is there to yell and be like, "Batman, get him! Yeah, oh, yeah, Batman, what are we yeah. gonna do? But turn on the bat signal." <laughs> That's all he's there for. Yep, definitely suicide. That's yeah. why Pat Hingle's here. <laughs> So then we have that scene, I think, here where the Riddler gets his costume. Well, yeah, but I wanted to just talk real quick. Oh, go like, ahead. like all the scenes with Alfred and Chris O'Donnell as Robin are like are great. Yeah. And, and it's just Alfred like giving him like good advice because uh, Bruce doesn't give him any throughout the whole movie. Yeah, Bruce is just <laughs> yeah. like dealing with his own shit. Yeah, like he doesn't know what to do, which again, I don't mean to keep saying this also, but what like, kind of true to the character. Like, you know, some of those comics, at least, he doesn't seem like he know, knows. And I haven't read every Batman comic, no. but a lot of them where Robin is involved, it's always like, it, it teeters that that there's yeah. a balance. Yeah. I just I just like the, like, the Alfred character is spotlighted a lot in this one, I feel yeah. like. But, in, like, not only, like, wrangling Robin, but also Bruce at the same time and kind of bring, and responsible for bringing they, them together. Mm -hmm. Schumacher you know? keeps him relevant from those first two films because he is center spotlight in those first yeah. two. And I, I feel like he's 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 in the spotlight in the next one because of what happens with him when he gets like Nora's uh, uh, disease. God, I hate but he's it. so in the oh, background because yeah. of that. Also, yeah. you're right. Like this is the last one. He's really like center focus. And he's still like a tertiary character when you think about it. No. Yeah. Big time. But I, he's he's great. great. He's important and yes. great. Yeah. And he has some of the best like lines. Well, I movie. love how uh, uh, Robin at one point he uh, he's talking to Alfred in one of these scenes and he he's he's he has the helmet, the the motorcycle helmet with the Robin on it, and he's explaining, you know, oh, what is this about, Master Grayson? And he's like, oh, you know, one time I reached out doing a stunt, and the, and the wire broke, and I caught my brother at the last second, and my father said, oh, you're like a Robin, you swooped in and saved him, and yeah. he's like, it just kind of stuck with me. And there's like 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 you're saying, a lot of sweet moments like that. Yeah. He even says like, oh, you're a hero, I can too. And yeah. like that was sweet too. Just like very encouraging. Keep, shit. Keeps the costume just in case. Like yeah, Robin's yeah, like, get rid of that shit. I don't want the memories. <laughs> it's, it's bad. I'll just put it in the the, the drawer here. Okay? Put it next to the bat suit where it belongs. <laughs> Hang it up by the bat suit, Al. Uh, um, but then, yeah, we go to the Riddler introducing himself to Two Face. Well, well, breaking he, into his lair he to introduce himself. He fucking, yeah. he fucking, he sees Two Face on TV, becomes Riddler, and then goes there, and he's like, "This is how I found you, the fucking box, baby." <laughs> <laughs> With the oh, and by the way, this is where we also get the introduction of Sugar and Spice, yes. Drew Barrymore, oh and fucking God. what's her face, uh, Debbie Mazer, Debbie Mazer, uh, Drew Barrymore Ice Pirates. in her prime. Yeah, but well, Debbie Mazer is great too. They're oh, both great. I know. I always remember her for for Beethoven too. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Her and uh, the fucking dude from uh, Reservoir Dogs. Um, oh, the bad guys. The bad guys. Isn't she the bad yeah, guy in she's that? The bad yeah, guy, yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't seen that in forever. I Holy was gonna shit. say. Anyway, Charles Grodin, R.I.P. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, seriously. But but, the, but yeah, this is where you get that scene I was talking about earlier, where Two Face has this like hellish, like it's split down the middle, but it's still like this hellish like hideout mm -hmm. where like yeah, it's supposed to be like. The cute side and the bad yeah. side, but it's like, no, this is just an amalgamation of shit. Yeah, it's so you and so you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're like talking about what they're going to eat and shit. And I'm like, you're not going to eat all that food. Shut oh, up. I love when we I, mean... <laughs> <laughs> I, I do love when Riddler does break in and he's like trying to explain himself all fast talk. And Two-Face just pulls the pistol out. I was yeah. like, all right. You're going to talk like real fast, but actually explain this or else your head's going to be gone. He's like, <laughs> yeah. well, what How about Batman? <laughs> Let's see if you bleed green. You want to see me have a pencil disappear? Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking cane's going to disappear up somebody's ass. Um. So, yeah, they basically strike up a deal together and then they're he needs collateral to build the fucking the Nigma tech building and all yeah. that shit. Um, and the like, giant fucking uh, blender, blender, yeah, on an island. And so, <laughs> which so they, looks like the blender from fucking Margarita. It does, yeah. Oh <laughs> it's really like like Margarita time, and it like erupts. Yeah. It, <laughs> lost my two shakers of salt on the Riddler's Island. Stepped on oh a pop, pop. That's so good. Um, but then they go on like a crime spree. Like they they become oh, quick yeah. friends. There's a there's a lot of good scenes here. Yeah. Um, like when they when like Two Face shows them how to punch a guy. <laughs> Yeah, and they're yeah. wearing fucking like jewelry and, <laughs> and so the, when they're driving the getaway car. Or even shit. when he shows them how the box works and he sticks it on uh, on Sugar's head and then yeah. spices his head and he's like sucking up their brain yeah, juice yeah. and him and Two Face are handing it back and forth. <laughs> I mean, in a couple scenes, oh, they yeah. show that. Does anybody else feel like a fried egg? Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, the jewelry store robbery is great when he's like, oh, look what I found. It's this tiny ass. He is a good <laughs> one. <laughs> and Two Face has this like, you know, massive like Hope's diamond. Yeah. <laughs> 
there was a whole scene cut um, that showed uh, Nigma like building the fucking thing on the island. Hmm. Oh, so we were saying that today. We're like, when the f- that was quick. How yeah. the fuck did like, he erect this? Escalated this, yeah. very yeah. quick. They like, stole so much money that they built this like overnight, I guess. And the reason like Batman doesn't catch them because we were like that too. He's like, where the fuck yeah. is Batman through all this? The Riddler like fucked up his tracking device or something, or like sent him in different directions so that he couldn't oh. find them when they were stealing. Was that, was that like a deleted scene? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that that puts some context to it. Yeah, <laughs> and there you go. Because he always has this fucking the, the thing. He always has like a, <laughs> yeah. a little switch that yeah, pops up, yeah. and he's always like it's just like an omni tool kind of thing exactly. that just works in every situation. Because yeah, like there's the like, passage of time is weird, like. You would think it's like like maybe six months, but it feels like it all happens in a week. It, it yeah. really does. And then like we get more Chris O'Donnell. Here's the fucking martial arts laundry scene <laughs> coming at you. It's Chris O'Donnell's fucking kung fu laundry, you know, cleaning up the fucking uh, the, the the wet floor. He's like, I got it, Al. I don't like to be waited on. I, it, it's it's uh, that's fine, but like. It's a, it's it's a funny scene regardless. It's a funny scene, but like we do like three of those for Chris O'Donnell to like prove himself to Alfred. Yeah. To wow. where Alfred's like, hmm, he's a formidable little boy. Let's put it. He's <laughs> here. You go. He is the partner now. Yeah. Well, I'll have, build you a suit. Yeah. But we have the main one a little later when he's like, he's like, ah, oh, what's what's behind this door, Al? Oh, I yeah. can't get in this door. He's like, ah, it's the the fine silver. Don't worry <laughs> about it. Master and, Wayne's dead wise. Yeah. Oh yeah. He says oh, that as a God. joke. Very good dry humor yeah. from Alfred. But we have that scene later when Alfred's like, oh, Mr. Dick, where are you? He's like, I'm up here, Al, like on the third <laughs> yeah, floor. I'm real far away. Don't mm. worry. Uh, <laughs> even though you're a gym gymnast or whatever. Uh, yeah, an acrobat. Gym, yeah, an acrobat. So, 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 of course, you know, Alfred, you know, closes the door slow as fuck. And then, you know, you have Chris O'Donnell jump from like the third floor like it's Resident Evil 4 going <laughs> off the chandelier. I know that like Alfred is quietly facilitating him finding the Batcave shit. Oh, yeah. But like- yeah. He could have just opened the door and shown him, like, look, it's silverware. Now shut the fuck up. You're right, because they do have a, a shelf of silverware. Yeah, it's locked for no reason. And, well, because, like, the, the shelf, like, flips. Yeah, it's like yeah. a Scooby Doo thing. Anyway, I love it. He goes flying down the fucking <laughs> stairs. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Well, apparently you have to have a lock on the Batcave because anybody can come trick or treating up to Bruce Wayne's front door, we learned. <laughs> where are the, like, where are the CCTVs? Oh, man. Where the fuck are the fucking where where are the cameras at the gates? Oh, apparently only at the door, like a like like a uh, 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 what do they call those things? Like those uh, oh the ring cam, yeah, like a ring cam. <laughs> it's like right there. He has. Oh, um, God. but anyway, yes. Yeah, so so yeah, Alfred. Like when when he breaks in there, it was like oh dear, and then uh, and then Bruce goes to see Chase again. Yes, and yes. this is the thing where he like sees all the bat Batman magazines and shit. But this is a this is a great scene because um. This is where we f- we do that thing where like Chase thinks like Batman's a schizophrenic or whatever, and like he tells her about his repressed memories yeah. and stuff and all that kind of stuff. So like, there's a good Batman story here. It's just overshadowed with all this other bullshit. Um, uh, we'll uh, see uh, in the Schumacher cut if that ever gets released. Uh, yeah, right. I, it can't be that much different. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of other shit in this movie. I, I wonder if any of that stuff that never got filmed like fills in holes you need for that cut to work. But will uh, we ever find out? I, I had this thought, but then it totally fell apart. Uh, like, what if Chase, like, ended up becoming, like, Harley Quinn? Oh. Because she's, like, all psych... You know, she's the if, same... She if, did the same thing that Quinzel did, where she's, like, breaking down, like, people's psyches and stuff, and, like, other inmates in Arkham and shit like that. I, I could yeah. see that. The Joker's dead in this universe well, now. But... I, well, right. I was gonna say, if it was Joker instead of Riddler, yeah. then sure. I know, but, like, maybe... But I guess you're they saying... they just did that they, twist? Yeah, yeah, well, they just gave her a different origin story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was I wouldn't yeah. hate that. Margot Robbie's Australian, right? Yeah, actually. Yeah. Ah, fucking Holly Quinn. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, then he gets the call from from Alfred. Yeah, on his fucking on his, his Apple big, Watch. Yeah, <laughs> in, in, in the nineties. Uh, yeah, sir. He uh, took the car. Ah, uh, whatever. The no. Jaguar. Not the other car. Oh, the Lambo. No, the other car. The other car. And then it's like it's literally like- a. A, a change in time of that that of hours it seems because now fucking Robin's driving around the Batmobile just for a joy ride. Kick up that fucking offspring because we're <laughs> we're fucking taking a bat ride joy ride. This, okay, so I lied before. This is my favorite part. Is Besides it ha- the yeah. blacklight gang, I knew it. Oh, <laughs> not only the blacklight gang, but he's driving around with the top down in the fucking oh, Batmobile, yeah, yeah. and he drives up to these sex workers. And he's like, "I'm about to ride in my love machine, baby." And they're like, oh, it's Batman. And they, that's not Batman. That's Bat 
boy. <laughs> the funniest fucking thing and he's like what are you talking about I can't. and then not alicia silverstone gets fucking picked up by the blacklight gang yeah headed by don the dragon wilson by the way who we got to meet a couple of years ago we did uh my my uncle is a martial arts master uh, so we went to a dinner uh with a bunch of uh other martial arts masters and don the dragon wilson was there and we got to meet him and it was fun yeah uh quick aside how do you guys like the batmobile in this movie because i had all the toys as a kid and like i still think it looks pretty cool like it's not my favorite but i like it um it's it's fine i mean i really got a soft spot for that 89 mobile mm. man it's just it, there's something about the design of that that i really like yeah. and this is so like again the neon blue bullshit that runs throughout this. And all the bat gadgets in this have that neon blue Everything shit in it. Does. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Like it's an LED. Like it's Wayne Tech it. or something. Yeah. Yeah, but like you get just a little tiny touch of that in returns when he when he hits Catwoman with that fucking acid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then they were like, oh, that was cool. Let's put it in fucking everything in this movie. Yeah. I don't know. When Batman said, oh, chicks dig the car, like, chicks don't give a shit about the car. At least this chick <laughs> does it. So uh, <laughs> I'm like, uh, yeah, that's a car. Fair, anyway, fair. Yeah. Uh, I just didn't want to forget to ask. Yeah. I was thinking about that earlier. It's too, um, it, it's like with the big fin on it and shit. I, I'm not a fan. It's gaudy, but I kind of like it. It is it. gaudy, it's, it's but fine. so is the rest of this movie. Yeah. So it kind of fits in perfectly. So then Batman flies in and saves Robin's ass. You know, he's <laughs> he knocks a couple of these goons out, but then he gets overwhelmed. And Daddy, Bat- very quickly. Daddy, yeah. Batman. So I forgot my suit, all right? Yeah. Yeah. I love how all the criminals <laughs> right. like stop in their, sh- you know, in their shoes. And then the second they realize it's not Batman, they go right back to business and start beating on some oh, woman. Oh, yeah. Don the Dragon Wilson fucking claps and like all this fucking and goons come out and beat the shit out of Chris O'Donnell. Well, I, love I her- mean, he does end up saving not Alicia Silverstone. Yes, and true. then they kiss, which is when in the trailer they play Kiss from a Rose, which oh, they never right. play in the movie. Until the credits. Ever. Until the credits. I was like, waiting the second for it. Song. It's the second or yeah. third song in the credits, not the first one. That's why I'm like, and it was like the main song of the trailer, especially the one for the soundtrack. They're like, it had Batman a f- Forever soundtrack with Seals. With, kiss with Seals, Kiss from a Rose. It had a fucking, uh, 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 a music video. Yeah. With Batman Forever footage. <laughs> I know. So we, we may have skipped this part, but I want to mention it real quick. Mm-hmm. There's a scene where Batman has a has a confrontation with Two Face on the road. Oh, oh God, yeah. the out of place like fucking like yeah. fight scene. Yeah, where where Two Face is in this like I like I was talking about it a little earlier. Some yeah. of the cars in this movie. This is one out of like your '89 Batman or like out of a Dick Tracy movie. It's very, oh, yeah, yeah, like the cars are like from the '20s, like or the '40s, and, yeah. and all the cars, all the goons have have fucking machine guns mounted on yeah. them. Yeah, like big ass Tommy guns <laughs> with the neon. <laughs> this on but Two Face has a fucking RPG <laughs> shooting at him. And I love this scene. You you could you can finish the thought, Joe. But when he fucking shoots this grappling hook oh with the God. Batmobile <laughs> he onto tra- the sturdiest gargoyle that's ever been built, and then just Pippi Longstockings up the wall, <laughs> like, he fucking drives right up the wall. And Two Face, by the way, Tommy Lee Jones, like a lot of his dialogue just. Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah! It's he's just like guttural. It's just guttural sounds. Uh, yeah! Yeah! He's like ah! <laughs> Especially later when he's coming down the stairs, and he's just like ah! He's going ah! ah, ah and he's like shooting his gun. <laughs> Um, it's so ridiculous. I, just, I forget exactly where that is, but that that is a, a, a ridiculous scene that cannot be <laughs> oh not mentioned. <laughs> but he, um, uh, just real quick, I love how Batman, like in that chase, and he he's he's pushing a uh, uh, Two Face is pushing a. Carry. Oh yeah, he's like an old woman. He's like gonna be an old woman, and like Batman sees it and doesn't slow down until he throws off the thing and then pulls the gun out. Then he slows down. I, I so wonder, is he gonna like mow that fucking yeah, like is that, that is that, that a, bag lady down? Is, is that a callback to Returns when he almost hits a bag lady when the Penguin's controlling the car? And I was gonna say, at the last second. But like, why was he even out? I don't even think the bat signal. Like he was just cruising. I mean, there's around. A, there are a few scenes throughout this film where he just sees the bat signal and just does Batman. And shit, yeah, and, and that happens a couple times. Which, okay, sure, I think it's one of those. It's just like disjointed. But we go back to the Bat Cave. Oh yeah, with, and, with Robin pissed off, and he's like, he's like, I want my revenge on Two Face. I want to kill Two Face. You gonna help me kill Two Face, Bruce? And he's like, No, I'm not gonna help you. Leave me alone. You're you're a little fucking shit bastard kid. And Alfred's like, But Al said I can be your partner. I'm gonna be your partner, Bruce. <laughs> Put it by the Bat Suit. <laughs> Hang that up by the Bat Suit, Al. I'm Robin, a Nightwing, or whatever the fuck. Yeah, and Bruce is just like, 
the hell? What, yeah. the, what the hell? Like he gives him his like revenge speech, and like Bruce basically tells him, like, look, if you kill Two Face, like that's not gonna stop. Like you're gonna go find another face in the night, like another bad guy, uh, and just yeah. keep killing people because you're fucking crazy. Yeah. And then you'll turn into Jason Todd. <laughs> I, and not, then you're really fucked. And then you'll be yeah, ready. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but then Bruce like is like, "You're not going to be my partner." And he's like, "I'm going to be your partner. Let's team up." And he's like, "He's like, no." And he's like, "Well, what are you going to do about it?" And he's like, "I'll make you." Oh yeah. Not fucking <laughs> come back. I don't. You know. Yeah. I, 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 I worded that really. He's there. He's shirtless. He's intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> I worded that really weird. But basically, he's like, "I'm going to kick your fucking ass, yeah. kid. Like, I can't stop you. So don't test me." Yeah. You're a teenager and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're bat you're not bat boy. Yeah. Yeah, we go to this gala event, and at this point, Edward Nigma's like, you know, rich beyond belief. Everyone's got this box. They show you know, like a like a commercial package basically of like a bunch of people in their home yeah. getting their brains zapped and him and Two Face are handing back and forth like the receiver rod. He's like an overnight millionaire, dude. Uh, yeah. Well, he's, and he's doing his best Kilmer cosplay. I like here, yeah, oh, he's got the like, fake mole that he's how's moving my mole? around. How's my that, mole? And like I love that whenever he's Riddler, it's this crazy red buzz cut, and then he just goes back to having this beautiful suave. With Quaffed oh, hair. he oh he like, out quaffs Bruce. Yeah, oh, big he, br- time. he breaks logic again. Shocker! The, yeah. the Riddler <laughs> in this film breaks logic. Um, um, he's very good at uh, you know manipulating. I don't know what space time uh, photos, video. Uh, yeah, his yeah. own face. I- yeah. His hair. He definitely has that hurt technology. Like he's, <laughs> I don't know if he stole it like Tinker did back on that uh, Texas Chainsaw episode. Tinker from the third uh, Leatherface Texas Chainsaw Massacre three. Yeah, but. I feel like he's got, <laughs> if not her technology, something similar. Yeah. Something similar. He has to. So Bruce shows up to the gala and he's like, Congratulations, Edward. Like, good for you. And he's like, Ha, ah, thanks. He's and trying like, to rub it in his yeah, face. Yeah. 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 And Bruce is just being nothing but professional. He's like, Yeah, yeah, yeah congrats on, yeah, on that. Yeah. I know good you're job. wearing the same suit, yeah. have the same haircut and the mole and everything. We get it. And Bruce also, like, just from a viewer standpoint, knows, like, or has an idea that there's something off about this guy, but he I can't he, put it together yet. I yeah. think he knows, but. Uh, how could you not know that he's the fucking Riddler well, if he you're Batman? He doesn't figure it out until like literally the last 20 minutes. But yeah, I think he's putting it together. Like he has some thoughts. I guess. It, it, like with all the motifs for the Riddler, it's like, yeah. Well, yeah, everything's bright <laughs> come on, green, man. World's greatest detective. Even yeah. Robert Pattinson uh, could fucking put that true. together. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't even know that he is the world's greatest detective. Um, um, but yeah, he shows off this new version of the box and it's it's all holographic so people can see what you're seeing. And they, the, they show some guy his this, fantasy is having a threesome in Hawaii and they just show it on a screen. I'm like, well, thank God he wasn't getting too hard. This oh guy's haircut, God. he looks like one of the fucking lollipop guild dude with his oh little my God, fucking it's curls. So bad. I represent <laughs> a lollipop girl. I would hate to see the Diddler's fantasy. I mean, you'd hate to see stepping in this. Oh no, oh, no, you'd hate to see you know what they pulled that out of before I licked it. <laughs> oh god. Uh, so I, yeah, you're right. I guess he does kind of have a pretty good idea, but he can't confirm it because he pulls the uh, the power cord out of this, or Batman, I should say, pulls the power cord. Yeah. More or less, it's this little jewel thing they plug into power. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a vial full of green liquid. Yeah, of of, of your 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 IQ, I guess. Uh, it's the power source, regardless. Brain he pulls, energy. He, he pulls it out, and uh, Drew Barrymore Drew, puts it right back in. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Out of this teddy bear purse, he's yeah. carrying around. <laughs> So Bruce fucking goes in and gets and gets Nigma teched, dude, because the, the, like he gets uh the f- he gets flashy thing, <laughs> and the, and the fucking bat comes out and gets recorded in like fucking Edward's uh, uh database. Yeah, and then Two Face of course ruins the party, which may have been part of their plan, but he takes it up too many notches for Nigma. He blows up with the machine gun, uh, the Tommy gun, if you will, the fucking giant uh 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 hourglass that he has yeah, in the he's center. Like, Enough of this fucking gala, this big show. Yeah. Like, when are we going to kill he's Batman? Like, Rob, like, everybody. Go. Yeah, so, so Riddler's like, come on, you had to get that fucking... <laughs> and I think this is kind of funny and, and me overthinking it a little, but it's like, Nigma is getting chummy as fuck with Two-Face and no one notices that, but yeah, He's whatever. talking to him in the middle of the fucking gala. I was gonna say, like, nobody sees Pre-sold this. Pre-sold the movie rights. I like, guess there's enough going on where there's enough chaos where even if Bruce shouted again that he was Batman, <laughs> nobody would fucking hear him. He's in the suit when he, when he flies through the <laughs> ceiling. I'm Bruce Wayne. People are like, what? Okay. 
I love that when he comes through the top, through the uh, the glass ceiling, because they have the, oh, wait, let me set that up a little, because we have the scene before that when he snaps out of it. Yeah. And he goes through, like, a back window, because he hears the commotion. Oh, yeah. And he goes out to the car, and he goes to, to Alfred. He's like, yeah. He's like, uh, change of plan. <laughs> he's like, he's like, uh, emergency, Alfred. He's like, okay, so here's your bat suit. And then fucking Chris O'Donnell's like, emergency, Alfred. He's like, okay, here's your fucking like, get up from your circus have days. Have you ever tried to get changed in your car? It's what? really difficult. Oh, so how man. the hell is Batman putting on his bat he's suit not, in the back? He's seat? not Tony Stark. He doesn't have like nanotech or anything. Yeah, no. yeah he doesn't have an, uh, like spandex under. It's like an armor suit with yeah. a cape. It's a big rubber fucking thing. Yeah. It probably takes five people to get him in there. I, I don't oh, know. Yeah. yeah, Robins, I could see you putting that on. Like, it's going to be difficult in the back seat, like you're saying, but it's doable. But I don't know. Yeah, unless he gets like in a press, like in the in, in like the trunk, and it like flips him around like a fucking oh, like oh, an maybe. action figure, like that action figure toy that puts the suit yeah, on or yeah, puts the God. flesh on the endoskeleton of exactly. the Terminator toy. It just snaps on the front and the back. It's just a two piece. His travel stuff. version of it. Yeah, well, exactly. yeah, it would have to be like a travel version, right? Yeah. Thereof. So then Batman again. Because he always does. Beats the shit out of all the goons while Two-Face runs away. Saves Chase Meridian and she's like, ah, my place, midnight. And he's like, I'm coming for you, yeah. baby. Yeah. She's Come, I'm going to get that ass. <laughs> she's dripping right through that dress. It's oh, the floor. This whole You're going to slip over that. that. I think Two-Face's bad guy actually slips in at the next scene. Oh, okay. Right on his ass. Yeah, he didn't get punched by Batman. He slipped on he's, some cum. He's, <laughs> he slipped on the fucking groove juice. Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> Pre-cum, by the way. <laughs> Not even the good kind. This is actually the scene now where he's coming down the steps and like randomly oh. firing his gun he's, off like a little cowboy. He's like jumping downstairs, <laughs> like hick, hick, ha, 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 damn, Tommy Lee Jones. And he has like a nicer Two Face suit on, like his his gala oh, version yeah. of it. It's sparkly. Who was Two Face's tailor? Do you think Alfred makes uh, <gasps> his suit? <gasps> side? Oh my god! Because when he, I forgot to mention before, when they're at the circus, he's wearing the fuck like a top hat that's. Cut in oh, half, like thing. you know, that's yeah. two faced. Well, he theme. again, like we said earlier, he's trying out for RuPaul on the side. <laughs> yeah. It's on the DL. He's practicing out some costumes, he's, seeing if they're gonna work. He needs to prove that he's also a seamstress, he's not so, just yeah. a performer. He's so he's an entertainer. Yeah, he's he can creativity. be funny. He has charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and yeah. talent. <laughs> he's probably gonna get to the finals and then lose. Yeah. But hey, he's trying. He's, he's trying. trying. But he's basically leading Batman into a trap. The, a trap yeah. in the subway. Basically, he jumps down this hole and. So does Batman, and he's just in this tube that sends him into a room that they start filling with gas. They catch him in the fucking, in the Home Alone 2, uh... Oh, yeah, the what kind of garbage hole. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. He loves going down tubes in this movie, even against his own volition. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. he likes it. I love why, though, when he hears the gas pumping in, because they really go out of the way to show, like, Tommy oh, Lee Jones time. cranking this, uh, this wheel. He's like, Oh, oh, oh shit! And then he just like bends over, and then they <laughs> throw it. A little I guess or something. Tommy Lee Jones shoots a fucking RPG <laughs> at him, and it like explodes the gas, and he just puts his cape over himself and like puts like I don't know the bat shield on. I'm I'm fine with that. This is like whatever. shark repellent, man. This is <laughs> yeah. like hey, he needs to survive this, whatever. <laughs> but it's yeah. so he comes running out of the fire like T1000, and like Two Face is like, no, oh, why can't you die? And he's like shooting him with like fucking grenades. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole building's coming down on top of Batman. He could have stayed like five extra minutes and saw Robin coming out of the thing and then shot that the other the last Grayson dead yeah. and then shoot Batman in the head. You yeah. Know. Where was he or doing? Batman would have just been buried alive. Like, he wasn't too. getting out of there by no. himself. You know, no body, no death. So yeah, Two Face never learned that rule. He's like, yeah, he's under a bunch of kitty litter and dust and fucking granite, whatever. I get vermiculite. I don't even uh, know what the fuck. Yeah, the, the kitty litter that that fucking cat one fell into this when Batman true. returns. Yeah, obviously, that so, that was above there next to the Enigma Tech. They just had it stored there. <laughs> So Dick fucking, you know, you think Batman's Barry reaches in, pulls him out, and he's like, hey, Bruce, how you doing? And he's like, I am your partner. I am your partner. They go back to the Batcave, and this is the part where he's like, I'm going to kick your ass. You're not my partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, after they go back to the Batcave, I guess he takes a shower, because he takes a shower, right? He's getting ready for he's Chase. He's got to get ready for that day. <laughs> yeah, he puts the There suit- are some bat stank under that suit that he's going to yeah, That is away. a That is a booty call. That is not a date, because he oh, fucking yeah. goes there to her apartment, and she is like- Naked, naked as you she's do, very naked. Yeah, with the, with these uh, sheets that attach to her body in I the was perfect say, spots. In the perfect, as the perfect oh. nighty as she gets up out of bed. Yeah, you're like <laughs> looking at my fucking ass, dude. <laughs> hey, I'm I, ready for your rubber. <laughs> more power to Nicole Kidman. She did not want to do. I mean, it was a fucking Batman movie, but you know, just enough skin to get away with that PG-13. Classy. 
Classic. Uh, yeah, she walks to the window in this like Dracula ass like sexual scene. Batman feeling his nipples, grabbing <laughs> his like you know this area, whatever that's called. I don't know. I'm the diddler. I don't know what everything's called. They just touch it. This is what I'm saying. He could just pop that fucking cod piece off and just give her, you know, <laughs> just bend her give over. Her the, give her the BD. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The bat dick. In case you didn't. Yeah, okay. Uh, we we there was a visual earlier on the video version. <laughs> Audio people just you know just you could visualize it. She like she's about to fuck him and she's like, I just I I met someone else. Yeah, they kiss and she's like, wait, Val Kilmer's hot and rich and you smell like old times. <laughs> Yeah, like, especially after coming uh, out of that crap. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, you need a I few showers mind. to wipe that off. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Uh, but I do. I kind of like that. That like, and I've complained about this trope on the show so many times. I can't even tell you about the forced romance. And you know, superhero movies up until even recently that has been a thing. I think in the last couple of years they've died off on that concept in a lot of these. But in the '90s, when it was still for the most part a newer concept. Uh, in the last 10 or 15 years, like, it's a thing in every one of these movies. Uh, and, but I think it's fine in this. Like, I, I like that she's like, you know what? Yeah, Batman is the one that, you know, the 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 one that you want, but you can't get. But Bruce Wayne is, like, actually, like, someone she's attracted to, me- you know, physically and, and mentally. And yeah. it's like, yeah, yeah. no, I, 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 can't, I can't believe I can't, I can't fuck Batman now, <laughs> but Bruce well, she, Wayne seems okay. She's the vehicle for Bruce to kind of throw in the towel. Yeah. And, yeah, and also be like his um, psychological saving grace as well. Mm-hmm. Right. So that's the whole thing. And Alfred's like, "Go, you better go fuck that Chase Meridian, <laughs> Master Brooks." I do love when Batman leaves once he gets that because oh, he knows who's, who who she's talking yeah. about. Yeah, sure. He just fucking he might as well stare at the damn camera straight up and just yeah <laughs> smile. <laughs> oh, it's I love it. God, it's win so win good. for Bruce. And Bruce it's is such like a good gift to use. Yeah, <laughs> like oh my god, yeah, I'm gonna get my dick wet anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Joke's on you, Chase. <laughs> yeah. So Riddler and Two-Face find out who fucking Batman is because right. it, it's like recorded. It's in his little fucking lawnmower man ass like <laughs> animation. Yeah. He, they find out that like, you know, they see the bat and he's like, it'll be this Two-Face who dreams of a giant bat. Batman. Batman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which. OK, sure. Sure. Why not movie? Yeah. So they go and they go to fucking Bruce Man, Bruce uh, Wayne Manor. Excuse me. I was going to say Bruce Wayne Manor. <laughs> and we, we screwed up again, guys. Julie, uh, I hate to let you in on this info, but this is a Halloween movie. Uh, we should have been doing uh, this in October. Yeah. Listen, but not only that, but like it pisses me off that this is a Halloween thing because it kind of works, though. No, but like it could have been a great, awesome set piece, and it's like yeah, a just throwaway they thing. They don't play with it. No, no. there's like a pumpkin on the table. It looks like fucking like Thanksgiving. One pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is a hundred percent there to have, even though it's stupid. Like we already said, to get them in there, and it feels yeah. like it kind of works in the scenario. Who is trick or treating at Wayne Manor? Where is the they, neighborhood again? How do you get? Through the gate. I yeah. mean, you're getting eight piece fucking Reese's bars there. You're getting, you're getting <laughs> oh, like big time. You're you getting know, like a BJ's case yeah. of Hershey bars. You're, like, you're, you're getting what Mike basically wanted in, in Willy Wonka, the yeah. giant chocolate bar. That's what you're getting at Wayne Manor. <laughs> but yeah, you guys are right. Like, yeah, they have the gate open for kids and whatnot, which okay, fine. But like the 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 fucking the the video feed is right on top of the door. The gate is closed when they drive yeah. up in yeah. the trucks, yeah. and they're like on the side, like peeking over, like ooh. <laughs> And they put their stupid fucking masks on oh and they go up to the door and Alfred opens his little people and they're like, twinkle, tweet. And he's Poor like, Alfred. oh, those are definitely children. I Do definitely you? don't have Alzheimer's. <laughs> like, well, that was that was pretty I bad, I definitely Al. don't have Nora Frost disease. Literally the, ep- yeah, right. The, or, the, the, excuse me, what's her name? Nora Freeze? Freeze, Freeze. Excuse yeah. me. Could be Frost. Freeze. Uh, uh, freeze. You have the thing, take two, call me in the morning, two chocolate bars. It just, like, paints his character as a moron. I mean, and again, maybe it's not fair to compare to the movie before, but, like, in the movie before it, he's literally, like, looking up, like, radio fucking frequencies to help out Bruce. Yeah. It's like, what? You fucked this up, man. Like, he, that, 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 I don't believe it. Riddler knocks his ass out with his fucking cane. Yeah, it's bad. He gets bonked. Yeah. And they throw him in the closet. Yeah. And then, you know, Bruce is getting, you know, working himself up to tell Chase that he's Batman. And they show a scene where he shuts all the equipment down and Robin's not having it. And he's yeah. like fucking yeah. leaving with his motorcycle. Yeah. And there's a scene missing there where that like explained like why he was shutting everything down, even though they, it kind of gets across in the movie. But there's another scene missing. From right. It. About this journal. With I his think dad. that's the yeah. scene with the big fucking bat that I was talking about. That Rick Baker bat. Right. Because we do get this, this that when they show what his mind is, is seeing, yeah. let's call his mind's eye. It, it is a bat 
you know, floating in like a spotlight, but it's like kind of like it's artistically done. Like it actually doesn't look bad, but I would have loved to see that Rick Baker version, yeah. whatever that was. Well I, well, I think we do it. That's the f- we we see it oh. flying, but like this thing is like right next to Val. I mean, I'm sure we're you know we'll bring it up, but like it, it's like right next to oh. Val. It's gigantic. Oh wow, I yeah. never saw that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's he's working up to telling her, and she kind of does. Well, let me tell you my thing first. Yeah, and, and kind of slowly explain that she's fallen in love with somebody, and you know that you know age old trope. And before they're able to kind of finish the thought, well, actually, first he has like kind of a moment because he's talking about how these flashbacks hit him in the day sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he like like gets stunned and is thinking back on it, and she's like, "You're you're unlocking a memory. Don't 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 try to push it away. Embrace it." And that's when he kind of, like Joe was saying earlier, realizes, oh, I'm stuck on this moment because it was my dad's last thing he wrote and it's my fault. But, you know, he's vague about it, even though he's about to reveal he's Batman, he's still vague about it. And I get it. Like, they're trying to keep it so that she doesn't know. Is he? Is she going to know? And then it doesn't matter because Riddler and Two-Face break in. Well, it, I like it because she does know because she kisses him. Oh. And she realizes that, oh, fuck, you're Batman. And he's like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the Spider-Man thing yeah. we get later. Uh, Years she later. knocks roses over grabbing her wine and then he That's like he has a fucking him. flashback and he gets straight up triggered yeah. and he's like oh literally yeah you're yeah. Right. exactly that is it literally triggers him yeah yeah so then yeah two face comes in starts just beating the shit out of him uh, well yeah they're or, like, or the goons do two really. yeah, the goons go- chase them like out of the living room or wherever mm. they are with a beautiful fire. Cue the fucking Scooby Doo music because we're running through <laughs> oh, all these goofy. different yeah. It's goofy <laughs> as hell. Yeah. It's like, you know, what the fuck? And like Two Face is sitting on the couch because Riddler's like, don't kill him. And he's like flipping his coin, like ready getting ready to shoot him. And then there's this whole scene with Riddler like fucking <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. The hammiest ham. It's Schumacher so was bad. like fucking hitting the fucking coke and was like, go for it, Jim. Yep. Just fucking do it. Playing baseball with these little like Bat bombs, yeah. you know. Spank me, meta. Yeah, spank me. Joy gasm. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. What? <laughs> Joy gasm. What the fuck was that? <laughs> that sounds like <laughs> that was the diddler voice. Diddler. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Diddler. Okay. Oh my. Batter up. Yeah, he he blows the shit out of everything in the fucking bat cave with these these bat bombs, including the bat mobile. Oh, he leaves a whole bag like you know, like a, like a stereotypical like sack of money kind of thing. Yeah, these these, these these chirping bombs. Yeah, it's pretty great. And then you know it all explodes, and they go upstairs. They take fucking chase. Yeah, they knock. Well, actually, they don't knock Bruce out. He literally gets shot like in the temple by two. He gets shot. He like grazes his head, and he's like, "This is gonna be great." And he like goes to kill him, and Riddler stops him and like leaves him another fucking. Riddler. Riddle. The last one, the last riddle, and it's also weird because like Robin is nowhere to be found because no. he just runs away. <laughs> he just leaves. He just leaves, but he does come back. He changes his mind at some point and comes back, but it's like, and that's when Alfred is making him the costume. Question, question mark. mark. Uh, already made it, I guess. Question mark. Yeah. <laughs> question mark. Big time. It's just weird. He just conveniently leaves the scene so he can't help or get his chase. Yeah. You know, like I don't it's know. It's literally what it is. Or he right. was trying to give them privacy, maybe. I, I, I think know. it's literally to it's remove just... the character from the scene so he can't help it's them. All yeah. Yeah. It yeah. would have been better if he did though. Yeah. I yeah. mean I, I'm kinda into that. That's anyway. that that worked for me, but I get what you're saying. Yeah. It is kind of weird that then he just comes back right after that. Yeah. Yeah. So so Batman wakes up and he's like, all right, uh what hell happened? of a night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by the way, Master Bruce, uh, Chase got taken and Master D- Master yeah. Grayson's gone. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how much time has passed, but it's, and yeah, it's not why good. Why did you take a nap in the closet? And here's, an, and here's another riddle, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then they're, it's like, it, you know, they got all the riddles out. And they're like, hmm, uh, the alphabet, uh, the, this, num- this number letter is Miss M and R and E. Mr. E. Uh, yeah. What's another word for mystery, Sean? Enigma. Edward. Edward Nigma. Oh, the Rid- oh, oh that God. fucking guy that was obsessed with me. Wow. That it's... looked exactly like Ed if I saw him in the flesh. That looked exactly like me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly like me. Also, why decide now that that was the last riddle and they so quickly come to the conclusion that it's Edward Nigma? 
because we got to wrap it I the know, fuck we up. Wrap it up. I know. I know. We've been <laughs> taking too long. That thing too, where it's like each riddle, at least like the design of them, like is progressively more interesting. Like they have the one where it's like a bunch of like knights in armor that oh, kind of like a pop. Great. Wait, the pop out. You know, pop out funny for those MDU yeah. fans well, out he, there. Yeah, it's a pop out funny, but he gets more money, so he can spend more on the riddles. Like this yeah. one's fucking got a motor in it. It's like plated in gold and shit. The the ping pong yeah. back yeah, and yeah, forth, yeah, yeah. Or, or tennis or what have you. Um. But yeah, they figure it out, and Batman's like, "Shit, and everything's then, fucking destroyed. What? What am I going to use?" He's like, "Well, we have the prototype that was under this uh, th- this this blanket that the Riddler somehow <laughs> missed." <laughs> well, that's the other thing too. He goes, "There's a cutscene of him going into this part of the cave and like finding his this the sonar suit or whatever, oh. like obtaining it or some shit." Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then and then you know he turns around and Chris O'Donnell's there again in his fucking getup, and he's like, "What's the R for there, kiddo?" And he's like, "Robin." TM. Because remember, I flew in like a Robin. Yeah, you were. It even says it on my mask, too. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, that was just me and Alfred. Just me and mind. Al. You guys don't talk, do you? <laughs> you, you know, you, you don't treat Al real nice. You don't give him the night off. You make him make you food and take care They're of you. pay him eight figures a year. It's not my fault he never takes a vacation. <laughs> I think he would have got a better deal working at Buckingham Palace like he was yeah. before he left there to work for De- Bruce. Depending on the history of the said movie, sure. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he maybe he's a military veteran. I don't know. Oh, it depends on, on the, on the version. Maybe he's, yeah, maybe he's Andy Serkis. Yeah, maybe, maybe. So they're gonna go after the Riddler on this Riddler fucking Blender Island. Bat Batmobile is gone. Right. right so they yeah. take the Batwing and the Batboat. The yes. fucking MK Dragon one. They take. <laughs> Chris O'Donnell jumps in that bitch. Yeah, and I almost put that on the shelf last oh, night. Did by you? The way. Oh, oh, you have one. <laughs> I yeah. helped recurate the shelves to add the Batman shit, and well, I almost put that. Well, boat the Mortal on Kombat there. boat, not oh, the yeah, Batman. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, the same yeah, design, yeah. basically. Pat Hingle runs to the fucking <laughs> runs to the top of the thing. He's like, "Put the bat signal on. Where is he? He's not going to show up." And he like blows through the clouds in the Batwing and and Patrick was like oh get him Batman <laughs> well, and fucking Val Kimmer's driving this thing he's just like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see you so buddy I do love the what they have like the, the the Riddler that's how he gets Batman's attention he that's shoots great. like the uh, riddle into the sky yeah. the, and the mark is the bat signal the iconography there is awesome and I hope they do something similar again with that because I really I think it's such a fucking cool thing to do. Well, I get again, we'll see. They, apparently, there's a fucking Riddler symbol in a coffee cup, so why not? Yeah, in this fucking latte. Yeah, I mean yeah. those Arkham games again. Not to keep referencing that, but like they do a lot of cool stuff with Riddler symbols if if, if you've played it. Those oh, what was that? damn trophy? What yeah. was that meme you posted? Oh, and it was like, why is the Batman three hours long and it's just the one Riddler <laughs> trophy <laughs> that's like behind the cage oh that my you God. can't reach? Robert Pattinson is oh running around God. trying to find it. I played Arkham City uh, to prep for my Batman <laughs> role. Not a not, not a bad idea. As long as no. it's not Origins. I mean, I like that game, but bad preparation. On I never your part. played that because it was only released for like what Xbox. Three- uh, it's on. It's on every. It's 360 and PS4. Did we not play Origins? PS3? No, because it's it's on PS3, and I think it is worth playing. But that's all I'll really say at this point. It's probably very outdated. Much like some of the effects we're about to see, Ugh. because Batman. Well, okay, first we have this battleship joke, which I thought was hilarious. Where I love this scene. The, it's so good. You know, Riddler and Two-Face are playing basically battleship, the board game, but there's literal mines that are blowing up as they're saying, E4, yeah. well, yeah. fucking mine goes up. I love they go, B12, oh, my favorite vitamin. vitamin. Yeah. <laughs> and eventually, these 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 mines explode the bat fucking boat. But, but Robin... He survives it. I, I, does he eject? He, he's he's he sinking ejects. like a motherfucker, though. The way, the way that it's cut is it's supposed to be like it explodes, and in the same split second that it explodes, he hits the eject, and in the same split second that he ejects, the whole thing explodes. What is he, the Flash? It's cut like shit. Yeah. And he's like, you sunk my battleship. <laughs> Yeah. And then he's like, well, wait till you see this move. And there's this big green button like that <laughs> meme, if you've seen it yeah. with the guy hitting the it button. It says bonus and he yeah. presses it. And this is fucking this blender hourglass. This thing's gigantic. It's like Stay puff size, like 100 foot tall. It fucking has these green things on the side that just like light up like Godzilla's <laughs> spine and just blast the bat plane out of the air. One I, shot. I First got shot. it. That's it. It's like a laser beam. Oh, man. He, also, he, there's two faces. Goons are like divers going after going Robin. Up, yeah. yeah. He's underwater. With like spears. Kind of like, they have harpoon they guns. Him. Like, Batman falls into the water. Yeah. The, the bat, oh my God, the bat yeah. wing turns into a fucking sub. <laughs> 
And then he ejects himself out of the sub and like grabs Robin and then shoots a fucking net on the divers. And uh, kills them. Well, they got to tread water <laughs> like, for hours in that choppy water. I was with, thinking about that. With a weighted net on them. Yeah. Oh my God. You're, you're, you're either going to have sore legs for a long time or you're drowning. They're yeah. dead. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're the tiger dead. sharks are circling, guys. Yeah. Uh, holy, so, holy rusted metal, <laughs> Batman. Holy, 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 rusted fucking dick. I, I, I don't know. Because it's holy and it's metal. And well, it's, the ground, it's holy. It's, it's Batman like, 66. We get it. It's the we, one callback we. I'm kind of would have done with Adam. Uh, like, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. we're getting 66 enough, like, in the stingers and stuff. Like, there's, like, music stingers that are just, like, wee. With like the I was gonna say I love and shit. all of those, yeah, and that's which is like fine. the perfect callback. But yeah. it's kind of good. Some of this dialogue is like wink. It's okay. got it's got a good orchestra ca- soundtrack or, yeah. or orchestral soundtrack in this yeah. film. I don't. If, is Danny Elfman come back for this? No, I think it's somebody else. It feels it's, Elfman esque, but I don't think it is him. It's Danny's score, but it's not Danny Elfman. No, especially okay. again watching returns in this back to back, you could. Definite difference. Oh yeah, 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 big time. I, I I think once Burton and Keaton walked, Danny was like, "Fuck that." Yeah, or didn't? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um. Even he was like, uh, "Paycheck? Not really." So yeah, so Robin's out there on the holy rusted metal, and Batman kind of finds a fucking trap door to to walk into. Fucking Riddler door. <laughs> yeah. The whole island yeah. lifts out of oh, into the sky. Yeah. yeah, like the parachute ride at Six Flags. <laughs> it like oh goes God. up like on a on, it's on a, a Six Flags on commercial. a pole. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, so Batman goes in there in this like trap hell room and where, where there's a pit at the bottom with spikes and then spikes on a fucking grate that are lowering. Meanwhile, Robin's fist fighting Two-Face. Yeah, and, at and, the top. And is about to throw him off the cliff, but like ends up saving him because he like learned something from Batman, question mark. He's like, I'd rather yeah, see you in jail. Yeah. Would you? <laughs> I'd rather see him dead. Yeah. Sure. I could kind of go either way, but regardless, he fucking pistol whips Robin and knocks <laughs> yeah. him out. <laughs> like, what if he just let him slip? He didn't technically kill him. I mean, th- and that's a thing later. Batman, like, beats Batman him. Batman kills him. He kills him. He's like, he beating into his head. Straight up kills him. Oh, he yeah. kills him till he is dead. Revenge <laughs> like, is something that's you'll. It. He's like, revenge is something you'll chase your whole life. You'll keep killing people and just trying to fill that hole and you'll never fill it. And then later, he basically just kills two yeah. face, straight up, you know, cold heartedly. Great scene, though. Yes. Oh, yeah. So um, yeah, he he he's dealing with with this this trap, and there's like this grate coming down with has spikes in it, and there's spikes at the bottom, like I said. So somehow Batman again, he's he's a genius, so whatever, figures out if he goes below like the one gear and grabs the chain and turns on like his fucking magnetic boots or whatever, his fucking bat boosters. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it's creating sparks on the wall with his boots, <laughs> and it creates enough tension to rip the fucking chain loose and pull him up, and and the fucking ceiling great falls and he survives and gets shot up yeah. into the final yeah. boss room. Very conveniently shoots him directly into the final boss yeah, room. And lands yeah. like Rey Mysterio coming out yeah. of the ground. <laughs> And the Riddler's standing there in this great uh, uh, last costume where it's the the white with the oh, glitter, yeah. and he's got the question mark for part of the mask, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's the yeah. mole as the mark, <laughs> but it's like in the totally wrong spot. I, I kind of hate this suit. Really? Yeah. I think it's silly. And then like because like. In he's, a good way. He's been a pretty like good villain so far, yeah. and I wanted him to get like super dark in this, and he just looks so goddamn goofy. Yeah. And he had that like light up suit and shit that he that he talks oh, to chase suit with. Yeah, yeah that was oh, so I can see when I'm jogging at night. His his fireside chat jacket, oh, yeah. his blazer. Yeah. So he has Chase and Robin in two tubes, and like he's like, you got to pick Batman. We're gonna fucking kill them both, and you got to choose. And he's like, I choose to be Batman and Bruce Wayne. And he's like, oh. I got a riddle for you, Riddler. <laughs> Riddler. <laughs> that one's for the hack the movies. <laughs> he fucking pulls out it. He he tell he's you know he asks him he tells him the riddle with like it's in the answer's a bat and he like throws a fucking batarang at the at the uh, blender. <laughs> And margaritas for and Mar- everyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking Jimmy Buffett kicks out. Well, he activates that sonar suit. The eyes come down yeah. like the Dark Knight. Similar concept. Why I don't know he needs that, but okay. And Nolan's like, this is a case of someone stealing something and making it better and I'm fine with it. Nolan's yeah. like, Schumacher, my friend. Like, decent idea. Poorly <laughs> poorly executed there. Let me do it way better in a, in a movie 10 years later. Yeah. So Riddler's, fu- like, all the thoughts explode from this fucking blender and, like, go into his head and, like, deform his yeah. fucking face. Yeah. The effect, it made me think of Shao Kahn for Mortal Kombat uh, Annihilation when he transforms at the end. Bummer. <laughs> it's uh, so not, bad. It's, it's bad, but really memorable. So then Batman, he, he's got to, you know, do that choice that, that you know, pick your love or pick your, your, your the boy wonder. They fall down the same fucking shaft and he yeah. saves them both. 
easily. Yeah. Obviously, he's I, Batman. I, I, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Robin's toes are touching that spike trap at the bottom. Oh, but it he comes does, real close. He's it like, comes real close. Yeah, I, 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 it's close, but no cigar. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and then they, you know, parachute back up, you know, spring back up, and this is where Two Face has this like final kind of fucked up line. This is great though because he sees Batman in them, and he and and uh, he's about to shoot them, and he's like, "Wait a second, Harvey." He's like. Aren't you of two minds or everything? Like, you need to flip that coin. He's like, oh, too true, Bruce. Uh, you were a good friend or whatever. I don't know. I kind of was into that. And then he flips the yeah. fucking coin. Because it's that then... Harvey side that you don't see a lot in no. this. No. And then yeah. Batman takes the fucking coins and kills <laughs> yeah. Harvey. He throws all the coins and he's like, oh, shit. I'm sure he would argue, hey, he didn't have to catch that coin. He could have, you know, had a little self-control and, and just, you know, stood there. But, you know, it's not my fault he reached for it. Robin didn't have to pull him up off that cliff, <laughs> but he did. Yeah, just like he does to Ra's al Ghul and Batman <laughs> Begins. I don't have to. He's like, I don't have to save you and let him blow up in that fucking subway oh, train. The monorail. Uh, So, yeah. And then he like ascend. Batman ascends on Riddler and he's like, ah! And he takes him to fucking Arkham <laughs> Asylum. Riddler is fried as shit. This is he's me like, at the end of every work week. It's just he's like this. His fucking face is all. He looks like Quano and, and Total Recall. Like Quano, yeah. <laughs> he looks like the fucking guy in RoboCop that gets dumped in the toxic waste. <laughs> Who comes up to Leland Palmer? Go yeah, help me! Oh God. Get the fuck off uh, me! <laughs> and then he gets hit uh, by. Yes, yes, by garbage truck. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and splattered into nothing. But uh, yeah, so. <laughs> This final scene, or final couple of scenes, yeah. we go to Arkham Asylum, which I- Which I, is kind of cool. I, I thought that was I like cool. It. Oh, the movie was supposed to open up at Arkham Asylum with Two-Face escaped, and oh. it says the oh, bat must cool. die like on the wall. Oh, that I think I remember that. Right. And it was supposed to bookend the movie. And then right next to that, obviously, was Peter Bankman's office. Yes. Bankman, you know, burning Burn hell. Burning hell, yep. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we go to the asylum, and we have Chase, which- like you guys are saying, maybe this is where you could have gotten that Harley Quinn esque, you know, development, but we don't. It's the yeah. end of the movie. They're just capping it off. Where she, you know, she's told by the guard, hey, it might actually be Commissioner Gordon. Oh, he says he knows who Batman is. No, it's Dr. Um, oh, Dr. Dr. Uh, Burton. Burton. Mm. Yeah, okay. Ah, mm. Renee Aubert. Jo- Tim Aubert- signed <laughs> off on that. Yeah, use my last name for this throwaway character at the end. I uh, thought he was, I thought he was somebody from like the show or the comics or something. Might be, but I anyway. Don't know. Uh, he leads uh, Chase to to Riddler's cell, and she's like, "Okay, who's Batman?" And fucking, Jim you have to Car- ask. You have to ask. You have to say, "Please." Oh yeah, yeah. The Walter Peck treatment. Uh, so she does. He comes out in this fucking jumpsuit that's like not connected. At the arms are separate, and he's like, "I'm Batman." <laughs> It's a fucking straight it's jacket. Straight jacket. Oh, yeah, that's with stripes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's simultaneously a prison outfit and a straight, yeah, jacket, a straight jacket in one. Arkham. Hey, that's how they do it there. And then uh, she's like, "All right, secret safe." Goes outside, tells Bruce. He's like, ah, "All right, well, we yeah. can continue our uh, our love life at least until <laughs> the end credits when he's we don't like, ever continue he's on." He's like, this. "He's like, he's like, yeah, I guess we can fuck now. Uh, see you later. Don't work too late." And this time I don't have to have the suit on. I know, like, maybe we could do that if we want to get adventurous. Like, role, but... role play? Yeah, 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 yeah. You could be Catwoman. This is supposed to end like Batman Returns, and it has, like, Batman, like, on top of the gargoyle, and then, like, Robin- I just watched him back to back, and yeah. I didn't even yeah. think of that. You're yeah. right. Yeah, with Catwoman at the end. Yeah, it's supposed to, it was supposed to end like that, and they were like, no, nah, fuck it. It's just going to end- I mean, like this, with yeah. Bruce Wayne or them running from the bat signal, him and him and which Robin. Then they do again in the next one, which okay, uh, sure, yeah. Uh, we're gonna turn this into a thing. Yeah, yeah. It, it was cool the first time, guys, and then we get all three of them at the end of that fucking movie. <laughs> fucking fuck. yeah, nipples galore. No thing. Why doesn't Batgirl have nipples in the in the suit? Inappropriate. We, yeah, Women we, don't we, have nipples. We don't want. We don't want to sexualize this. What is this? <laughs> um, just the butt shots. So with that being said, where are we putting this? Me first? You can go first if you'd like. Okay, I'm going to go first. Okay. Because I would like. Okay. All right. It's on the shelf. It's on the top shelf. This is not just on the shelf. It is one of my top five desert island movies, (laughs) along with Deep Blue Sea, Halloween H2O, Stepmom, Gotta Throw Some Cancer in there, and Cast Away because I'm sick in the head. Wilson! (laughs) Wilson! You, th- you think he shoved Wilson up his ass? Would that be a diddler move? <laughs> oh, that would be a definite okay. diddler This move. is what I deal with. Let's go to bed, babe. All right, let's put on a depressing movie. Oh, I'm then you're going to say shoving Wilson up your ass. No. Come on, babe. Push that volleyball in there quick. I'm trying to get some rest. Wilson! 
Yes, that's definitely our thing. Yes. Um, no, I watch the same shit over and over again, and Joe does not. It's uh, I'm sorry. I no. The thing is, I do. <laughs> <laughs> at least show. the first 15 minutes until I fall asleep yeah, and yeah. then you put on and then the else. And then the fucking elf goes on. Um, but yeah, I love this movie. It's one of my all-time favorites. It's campy. It's goofy. It's shitty. Whatever. It's fun. It's just fun. I love it. Is it Definitely. a good Batman movie? Um, ye- It's a good Bruce Wayne movie. <laughs> it's a good Riddler movie. <laughs> It's my favorite Batman movie. I, don't, I love Returns, obviously, like legitimately love Returns. Know mm. that it's a great film, but this is also a great film. And uh, yeah, I love it. My official opinion. Top shelf. Cool. <laughs> uh, Go ahead there, is... Diddler. Yeah, the Diddler's definitely putting this on the shelf. He's, you know, he's diddling those uh, VHS reels a little bit, you know, diddling those uh, DVD cases. I mean, it's been on the shelf since I was a kid, you know. I, I kind of have gone back and forth on this movie over the years. Uh, you know, loved it as a kid. Uh, kind of in high school, like, was like, ah, this movie's kind of too cheesy for me. And then since then, I've kind of just circled back on it entirely. Now I just kind of love it. Uh, not my favorite Batman movie, like I said. Uh, even, even watching it back and back in returns, like, I still probably would rate them very similarly for different reasons. Uh, I, I still think Dark Knight's probably my favorite, if I didn't say that already. But there's just a lot going for this film. I mean, Tommy Lee Jones is, like, the only one that I'm kind of, like... I, I just feel like he didn't understand the assignment. And, like, he does a good enough job. But, like, you know, Jim Carrey knocks it out of the park. Val Kilmer knocks it out of the park. Chris O'Donnell's okay. Uh, Alfred's great. Even even Nicole Kidman's good. Uh, her character, maybe could do without. But I, for for the role she was given, I think she did a good job. And, uh, you know, what else can I really say? Like, the effects are kind of all over the place. The costumes are kind of great, but the CGI shit. And, you know, you got the Riddler. You got Jim Carrey's fucking Riddler. And it's iconic to this day. And, you know, like Joe had said, Val Kilmer as Batman is really good. I mean, I still am a bail man. And, and, you know, there's nothing you could really say to knock uh, Keaton down a peg. And we'll see what happens with that Flash movie. But I don't know. There's just something about it. And maybe it is kind of that rose tinted glasses thing a little bit. I grew up with it. Uh, It's one of the films that was kind of burned in my brain uh, ever since. And I've seen it many times, many, many car trips uh, from Jersey to Florida. This was on repeat uh, to visit the grandparents and, you know, hit up the Disney worlds, uh, you know, the the, the Six Flags, you know, even going that half hour to Six Flags. Sometimes the Batman Forever came on. So this is uh, this is a film that's. I don't know if it's as near and dear to my heart as it is to Julie, uh, but yeah, it's it's one I always went back to. I, I recreated my fucking <laughs> Halloween costume. We made it a goof, but it's kind of cool that I did it. At the fear of repeating myself too much here, uh, the, 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 the diddler, Sean, however you want to look at it, uh, is absolutely putting this on the shelf. I guess that's all I have to really say. I feel like I'm rambling a bit <laughs> now, but yeah, I like this movie a lot. Uh, definitely a shelf. And like, this is as campy as I would go with my back. Yes. Right? Okay, so. Perfect mix. It. I wouldn't say a perfect mix. Close. In fact, I would, uh, like, I wish some of the stuff that was in this wasn't in this. And I feel like Tommy Lee Jones is kind of competing too much with Jim Carrey. Yeah. Like, yeah. Jim Carrey's so silly that I feel like Tommy Lee Jones had to, like, compensate for that. Right? Yeah. Like, he always had to be up here. Because he de- he delivers a lot of good uh, one liners and stuff and uh, serious tones and and uh, uh, ideas and shit like that when it's just him yeah. on the yeah. scene. But like when they're together in a scene, it's very much Jim Carrey's fucking. Yeah, thing. there's no room for that. No, no, no. There's no room. He's too big of a personality. <laughs> He's literally grabbing that spotlight and turning it towards him. Uh, well, no, I don't think he does it on purpose. That's no, no, the, no. It's just. In his nature, yeah. that's just yeah. the way he he is. You know what I mean? Not by not by a, a fault or anything like that, or like he's trying to do it. He's just, especially in this film. There's other films if you've read the behind the scenes, like Man yeah. on the Moon, where maybe he took it a little well, too far. Sure. But in this case, yeah, I think it is just Tommy Lee having a different goal, right. With this with this movie, um, I really I really love Val as as uh, Bruce and Batman. Mm-hmm. I think he's a good mix of both. Um, I don't need fucking Chase Meridian. I think Chris O'Donnell is obnoxious in this movie, but funny <laughs> as hell. Um, I mean the fucking just like so. If I got my suit, all right. Like I, I quote that constantly. Yeah. Um, this has my my favorite Batman is the '89 Batman, and I do love Batman Returns, but uh, but I've had a bigger appreciation for Forever since 
meeting Julie because she's gotten me to watch it. <laughs> 15,000 times. times and then when you watch a film 15,000 <laughs> times um you start to notice things that you didn't or be like hey this actually kind of works or I could see what they were trying to do but it might have not all gelled exactly well and I think that's Schumacher's fault and Warner Brothers fault themselves um they 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 they, they especially out of how this turns into Batman and Robin like they really fucked themselves like big time in terms of the franchise and stuff because yeah. it just died after this yeah. At, at, yeah. you know after Batman and Robin you can't have somebody make a movie you can't have your director like Tim Burton make two films and then hand it off to somebody else and it be even close to the same fucking thing yeah. we're missing all the aesthetic from that you get a little touch of it but it's not doom and gloomy it's very bright neon colors and all that kind of shit um, it's fun I don't know if it's a good Batman movie but it's a fun it's a fun flick for sure. It's unoffensive. Yeah, and like, it's on the it's on the shelf, and it's a good time. And I will watch this nine thousand times before I watch fucking Batman and Robin again. Once we went to the Mahoney. Don't drive- worry, we will. We went to the Mahoney <laughs> and Drive In to see oh, yeah, we Batman did. Forever and Batman and Robin because Batman Forever is her favorite. And we watched Batman Forever, and then when Batman and Robin came on, I she fell asleep, and I wanted to fucking die. That's I was, what I do. I was gonna say how many cars. <laughs> Just left as soon as Batman Forever ended. People well, got up and peed and then got the hell out. Oh, well, we yeah, they didn't stick around uh, through intermission. No way. We were there with Matt Curione and his husband, Carlo, and oh, they were okay. stayed, so I didn't want to like leave them. And Dave Alon, friend of the pod. He, oh, yeah, yeah, he was with us, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't want to leave, so <laughs> I didn't want to be rude, and I was like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. You paid that price? Yeah, sure did. You were wishing the Diddler was there with you. <laughs> Help you I out. Mean, <laughs> At least you would have enjoyed it more getting a little crank. Oh, getting something shoved up your pooper. Oh, man, the diddler would have took me in the back and fucking done me dirty. But yeah, shelf. Here you go, Joe. Just bend <laughs> okay. over, baby. All right. I Move the bot. Get the volleyball out of the way. Get the cane ready. I can't take that in, dude. It's happening. You're getting. I'm going to lock you up in Arkham, you fuck. I mean, hey, if I could find some like-minded people, we could trade information, different diddle <laughs> techniques. <laughs> Diddler yeah. techniques, diddler techniques. Let's mix it up. You know, I'm talking about a lot of diddling, but I'm the diddler, not the diddle. Ah, uh, you're not the d- diddly? I, we'll, we'll fix it in post. Mr. Diddly. Mr. Diddly. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Yeah. Diddler. Um, <laughs> before you get out of here, please like uh, this video and subscribe, please, if you're watching this on YouTube and if you're listening on your favorite podcast app. Hey, leave us a five-star review and, a, and the, uh, you know, it helps us uh, grow the show. And we really appreciate it. And thanks for listening and thanks for watching. And uh, we'll catch you later. And that's the bottom line. Because the diddler said so. So that's it. That's Batman Forever from 1995, directed by Joel Schumacher. I'm Joel Escola. I'm Sean the Diddler O'Rourke. I'm Julie Lockwood. Thanks for visiting the dumpster. 